Welcome to Dwarven Forge Live! <laughs> Woo, that was right down to the water. <laughs> We're not ready to go live. This is, uh, this is building of the build of the month. This is the show where we sit down for the next uh, two hours and play with some pieces and you help us uh, build the skeleton for next month's build of the month. For what month is that? May? May. May. So I am Nate and Selena is sick. So who's Selena's stunt double today? Hey, it's Chris. Hey. It's just like a, it's like before the anvil, we'll call this. <laughs> so, the, uh, what, what would you, what would you call, like on the build table, on the... On the table? On the table? On the, Every, everything's on the table. Yeah, it's, it's, we're That's, throwing all our cards on the table. Uh, I'm my, <laughs> all right. Well, hello there. So, so today, whew, <laughs> I, I didn't have my padding down. This is a, it's a hard cement floor and I can't like, the old knees don't last. Uh, you know, when you jump out of the ceiling for wild dance videos after a while, it does something to your knees. So I, uh, I need to stand on, uh, on foam. I can't stand on the concrete for two hours. Uh, so we're gonna spend the next couple hours, we're gonna build with dungeons today. Um, we'll talk about that in a sec. Um, but first, uh, do we have any news? We have a little bit of news. Uh, basically just two like kind of big ticket items. First is that since there's a building of the building of the month happening right now, that means that speaking of build big ticket yeah. items, <laughs> it's, it's a super big ticket. Our largest build of the month ever uh, went up today. Uh, kind of an experiment to see. It, it, it was like two things. One, how, the castle sets are already basically sold in build of the month sized things. So to do a build of the month of castles, you need to combine a bunch of those. So and then added some more. Then added some more. Yeah. Um, but basically, if you get that build of the month, you're kind of set with castles for a while. I think. Like, it's, it's a lot of stuff. Well, I tried to get um, a, a perfect combination. There's six, six total corners, plus a bunch of walls, plus a gate, uh, plus some decorative bits. And it should be enough that uh, you have, you know, you have enough to do a bunch of basic stuff. What's, what's, what's kind of unfortunate about this experiment is we did too many experiments in one thing. So it's our first time we're doing an unpainted and painted version. It's our first time doing a regular version and a deluxe version. And it's our first time doing an absurdly, you know, more than like four or $500 Build of the month. Yeah. So, so we'll the, the nice thing is, is it's kind of offset by also the largest gift card we've ever attached to uh, to one of these it things. Goes up to 200, 250. What's the big one? I think it's the big one is two fifty, I believe. It's a lot. Yeah, I think the deluxe the deluxe painted is two fifty, and then regular painted is two hundred, I believe. And we have a we have a pretty limited stock in all these. I think we've got you know yeah. low double digits, like 13, 13 painted and. Eight or nine unpainted or something. So. According to Andrew, we've already sold four Whoa. in the two hours that it's been up. Uh, and the emails haven't even started going out. Well, the emails should be going out so right now. So if you're thinking of buying the castle, now's the time. Yeah. Um, um, you know what we also did? It was probably the most fun and cinematic. I wish I wish Selena was here. We could talk about it. It was like the most fun cinematic. Like the, the build of the month story, we really, uh, we really, we went for it. We did three days of shooting and just shot some really, it was really fun. It was a fun one to yeah. put together. And... It featured our first uh, cameo, fan cameo from Imi202, does the yeah. voice. And which she is did a great. Job. Which is something that we want to keep going. Like it was a lot of fun to just kind of like do that. So it's a, it's a thing we're gonna try to keep doing uh, as these build of the months happen. In fact, today you could be a lucky cameo winner if you're so inclined. I look like a film director in this outfit. I feel like with this beard. <laughs> yeah, like you're I, totally like in, I, in, in yeah. director mode. Huh. Um, well, as, as my freshman effort, I was really proud of what we put together. It was a uh, <laughs> shoestring, but there was a lot of heart, you know? We just, uh, everyone gave it their all. We're trying to tell yeah. a really, uh, just a rich story, you know? Yeah. Just trying to be real. So, so please, see Clown Doctors 2 when it comes out in, uh, at the end of the two. month. Yeah. Uh, you did that murder. That was a good, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't realize what a good setup I gave you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so any other news yeah. about the build of the month? That's it, right? It's live right now. We also have a build yeah. tips video. We broke out, this was another Selena idea, break out, the, um, break out the build tips from the main video. So the story video is one, build tips is our video. Let us know if you like having sort of build tips broken out. And we're gonna retroactively go back and break out build tips from the other one so you can have those just as separate bits. Yeah. Although I could have done better build tips on this one, but I was, I was fried by the time I got to it. I always do better next time. I mean, like, like you said, this was, we were experimenting with a ton of new things at the same time. So the odds of us hitting all those things perfectly the first time. Facts. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I, I don't know, I, the, the feedback so far, people seem to like the build tips video. Oh, and we have a bonus, we have bonus content. <laughs> Rabbit Burner already did alt builds of the build of the month, which you can view all over the place. Twitter, forums, I don't know what else, Facebook. Yeah. If you, if you, it's awesome. if you're not convinced enough uh, by, yeah. by the pictures that we took, uh, 
you just look at Robert Burner's photos, you can see like just how many other things you can do with the set. I think he was like, using crenellations instead of matriculated battlements, but he you know, we had a conversation. We had a conversation about that yesterday, really? actually. He had a hard time getting the crenellations. Uh, I think he didn't get them. Or the battlements? Or the battlements? The, yeah, yeah, the large, the small curved battlements were. Uh, those are. Uh, yeah, so another you know, reason to buy the building month. We don't. Yeah. We never. We haven't restocked them ever since. So. Uh, Rabbit's saying uh, you did murder the British rabbit accent. Go on, Chris. Tell him how much you butchered our accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, it was charming and delightful. <laughs> it's just did it for you. I have lots of love for Rabbit. <laughs> I haven't seen. I haven't seen the video yet, so I'm hoping it's. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's on par with the uh, with the accent from the game. I think it's worse. Yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. I don't know. It's really yeah, perfect. Yeah. Uh, we try not to get precious about it. Just sort of just try and. Jam through them as fast as, you know, just do it, do it right and do it well, but like just, you know, I'm not going to do multiple takes to try and get an accent right, because I'll never. I could do 100 takes and still not get it right. And there is no script, right? It's just all improv, so. Yeah. Yeah. Tr Troll Dwarf says, glad to be here during the live feed for a change. They're usually in the middle of the night in Europe. Well, yeah, this is, so this one. We do hopefully. these so Rabbit can watch, basically. The whole reason we do these is yeah. so that Rabbit Bird can have a chance to watch these. Well, so the idea when we started the Twitch channel was we would have like, streams of stuff that like we do during our work day, like building the build a month, like yeah. putting these sets together is something we do during the work day and then having streams that happen after the work day. And then we had to go remote and it became harder to do the work day streams. Well, suddenly you're, um, you're living at work instead of working at home and it's yeah. all a weird, you know. So hopefully as we start getting back into the office over the next couple months, we can start doing more streams yeah. during the daytime and also showing you stuff like j just having, the nice thing about streaming from here is we have better access to employees who don't have like great streaming setups at home. So yeah. it's easier to just kind of highlight everybody, which I'm really looking forward to because we really wanted to highlight yeah, the whole staff when we started to, this. To uh, pop on camera and show what they do. And, yeah. yeah. We, we'll, we'll get there. We're, we're almost over the hump with, with team vaccinations. We're dangerously close. Yeah. I get my first one tomorrow. You get your first one tomorrow. We're racing. Yeah. We you have like a 15 minute head start. Uh, on appointment times, but it's gonna be good. Yeah. So what else do we so, have in the news? Uh, the other so big thing. Um, this is the last week for the fundraiser that we're doing uh, for AAPI Women Lead. Um, it's an organization that helps to uh, helps to promote uh, women that identify as Asian or Pacific Islander. Uh, just kind of help with the specific obstacles that they face. Uh, and uh, it's it's a great it's a great charity. It does a lot of really good work. We've raised what nine thousand bucks or something so far. We were coming up on ten thousand. I'm not sure where we're at right now. We uh. were getting close to ten thousand though. Um, but if you want to donate to that, uh, oh, I should get the link for it. I don't have so it. On, I, I have, have it. There's two prizes. Home, but you get the you get the link. It's not a raffle, yeah. but you are entered in a chance to randomly win something, which sounds a lot like a raffle, but legally is not a raffle apparently. It's uh, not. So there's two prizes. Uh, one is a. Uh, a game with Stefan. He'll run a, uh, a remote game for you and five of your friends uh, with an elaborate setup, with lots of cool old resin bits and masks and nonsense. Uh, once in a lifetime opportunity, unless you've had another once in a lifetime opportunity to play with him already. Uh, like if, if you've ever been to a convention, he's like, oh, what's the play? What's the play? If you've been into a convention in the before times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, it's, and then uh, the other prize is a $1,500 Dwarven Forge gift card, which is outrageous we've never done something that big so it's a yeah yeah so it's fifty dollars for an entry so you have to donate 50 bucks and each entry each each increment of fifty dollars gets you another chance to win yeah uh, so pretty cool uh, pretty cool prizes and it's a great cause and it ends on sunday so get in if you're gonna yeah um we've had really and great for, help us forge a better future that's yeah the name of the initiative is. i would love for us to get more We'll get there. We'll take it a time. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. it's it's a bandwidth thing, and yep. Yeah, we got a couple other things. You're working on a thing right now. We can't talk yeah. about it yet. I'm excited we're, to. Yeah, yeah. We, we we're we're trying to help. We're trying to do what we can to use our platform to help improve the world. Awesome. So uh, is that all? What uh, any other news? Uh, those are the big ticket items. All right. uh, I believe. So let's build. All right. All right. So here are the rules of engagement. You guys ready? So we're building next month's Build of the Month for May. Um, so the first rule, which is the hardest, is we have to only use sets that are in stock. Uh, and not just in stock, but like we have to have a buffer of enough, like ideally we have more than 50 of the sets, ideally we're like the hundreds or whatever. Um, and of course it's always like we always end up with one low set, like this, the castles are limited by one, the corners pack limited. We have, we have so much of the other stuff and then yeah. there's the one set that's got like 13. So, 
So anyway, so it has to be stuff in stock. So if you're like, hey, can you use those diagonal walls? Like we don't have them in stock, so we can't. Um, and it's always frustrating because I'll go through a list of like, oh, I want this, this, is, and it's like, you know, and I'll even see it on the store, but I won't know the quantity. And there's like, literally, I wanted to use these quicksand terrain trays, and there's one in the store, but it was literally just one. So I was like, ah, oh, you killed me. So, it, so first rule is we can only use sets that are in stock. Um, second rule is particularly coming off this ridiculous two thousand dollar bill of the month, um, we want to keep it. Uh, I, I want this one to be three hundred dollars or less uh, painted. Uh, and assuming we have the stock, we'll, we'll try and do paint, unpainted again, I think. We'll see how that goes with the castle. But we'd love to be able to offer these painted and, and unpainted, if feasible. Um, we'll see. Do you think we'll try a deluxe thing with this one? Or? No. I don't no. know. It, it, I don't know. It was too many things. Like, this, the Wyvern Watch Castle was bonkers. There was just too many moving parts. So I'm going to try and scale back in every way, do one small, and maybe we'll just do painted and unpainted and start there. Perfect. Um, the castle was really conducive to doing a deluxe because I was like, man, if I opened up one more, it would be like... You know. Well, especially because with, with the castle, it's like when the base is 2,000, what's another couple hundred? Yeah. Well, I, I wanted more wall yeah. sections. Like, that was the other thing. I had six... Yeah. I didn't have quite as many wall sections as I wanted, so I wanted more wall sections, and it, that was a good way to do it. And um, it just gives you, like, a bigger toolbox. And, yeah, right, what's the difference between, between two grand and 2,400 at that point? Um, well, the difference is a bigger gift card. All right, so those are, I think those are only two rules, right? It's, it's got to be in stock. And, and so our plan, so what I've, I pulled out, and by I, I mean Tyler, uh, <laughs> as, as gathered up and labeled, uh, we've got a bunch of bins of stuff to use. So we're going to start with, oh, so we're trying, so I wanted to do mountains because we haven't done mountains since Cobalt Cove, which was like a year and change ago. We weren't selling them then either. Well, we don't have, they're out of stock except for the Iron Thors, and that's, that's already but, 400 something in base. So I was like, all right, so we can't do mountains. And, and then I wanted to do burrows. And Forsaken, uh, Forsaken Temple, and both of those we basically only have the big, so it's five hundred bucks or more just to start without mm -hmm. any other packs added. Uh, and then I was like, what was the other? There was one other thing I was like, well, we, and oh, I want to save cat cities for. We'll do cities right before we break for going to our Kickstarter. So that was out. So I was like, where were we left? So dungeons was sort of. I was like, well, it seems like we got to go back to dungeons. And Selena was really was lobbying to do a scatter build. And I'm like, well, no, because we just did forest and mountain is sold out. And oh, sewer was the other one I was thinking about. But once again, we're mostly sold out and we just did sewer a month and a half ago. Some sewers a month and a half ago. So anyway, so I was like, ah, I can't do it. But then I was like, wait. I was going through the list. Eric pulled up. I'm like, what do we have for dungeons? He pulled up and he's like, hey, we've got these ruins and whatever. And I was like, wait, we can do ruins plus transition things. So I want to try and do the plan today is we're going to do a ruins, start with dungeon ruins as a base. Use some of the ledges, pieces, whatever, and do it on uh, terrain trays for negative space. So try like a, a thing. So of course, I wanted to use the quicksand. Ooh. I wanted to use the quicksand terrain trays, and we're all sold out. We've got one. So I was like, oh god, and it'd be like it would be like a desert and whatever. So you got an idea? I I wish we that. could use the quicksand because there's a there's a dungeon in Twilight Princess that is like a castle sinking into a desert. Sinking. And so they've got like that whole aesthetic. It's very very. Yeah. Cool. Well, we don't have. Them. So uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so. Uh, and so what your guys' job out there uh, is to start feeding some, some story ideas and other, you know, if, there's, if we're doing a thing and, like, is, is there a cooler, cooler thing we could add or what's a thing that would, you know, plus this up a notch, uh, let us know as we're, as we're building what you think. And that's how some of these great, you know, like uh, the Shivering Springs, the light panel was I, me, 202, and another all-star. <laughs> it was just like, hey, what if we put light panels in there? And boom, off we go. Um, Merck's, so. Merck's like, uh, do I need to go grab that last quicksand tray right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Merck, go get it. Uh, oh, man, I was so frustrated. I was like, this is it. It was, was going to be deserty, you like falling into death. Yeah, but no. We should Although try to add that have, into the restocks coming in. We could do something crazy with, we have the, the 12 by 12 hazards array, which has sort of, it's a crazy variety pack. And we can do some sort of like shifting realities thing Ooh. or something. Um, it's kind of wild because it's, there's, it's 10 different, right? We've got necrotic sludge, quicksand, ice, uh, cave stone, cave water, regular water, festering floor, cracked ice, uh, regular so, cave stone, and bottomless pit. So, so I mean, have my, like, my it, initial thought is if we're talking about... Uh, if, if we're talking about like constant shifting, that could be what is destroying the dungeon and putting it in ruins. Yeah. Um, so we could either try and do something crazy with the, that weirdo hazard pack, which would be fun, or there's the cheaper, the cave water multi-pack, which has um, 
subterranean water on one side and this greenish algae cave on the other. We could do just sort of like the swamp, sort of sunken, sunken ruins in the swamp. So what are, what are people gravitating towards? Want to yeah. do a hole? I guess the only potential issue is if you've, if you've got pieces on top of the tray, swapping it might be a pain. Yeah, well, we'd have, my theory is we'd build on multiple, you have to like get to maybe like jump zones or something and <laughs> I don't know. Do, do a quick poll. See what people want to do. <laughs> the first do castle we built in the swamp. And it sank into the swamp. The next one we built on the festering floor, that too sank into the festering swamp floor. Do a poll. Do people want to do crazy hazards or um, water? Uh, Unless there's something else we have in stock that we didn't pull, but I think... Uh, I see runs with ice tray and ice caverns. That doesn't... We're not doing ice caverns right now, though. Bottomless tray, bottomless dungeon. Wow, there's a lot of stuff coming in. Okay. Um, cave water and sunken temple sounds great. Uh, swamp would look really good with ruins. Underdoom tray, bottomless for bottomless dungeon. The bottomless dungeon. Water's cheaper is one reason to go for it. I'm trying. I'm really worried about price want, on this one. I want that cave water terrain tray pack. Uh, aged up rooms from Dungeon of Doom can have switches that move between future and past. In the future, it's all ruins and there's gaps in some walls. In yeah. past, some pathways that are still necessary. That sounds expensive, though, because then you're talking about two different yeah, bits. So that might put it over the, I love over the, the price point. Okay. Swamp, swamp slash water. Cave water sounds good. Swamp slash water. Right, so some of the people are really into the water. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's do it. And it's cheaper, so we're starting with a cheaper base. All right, so who, who wants to run and keep the calculator running? We're at, we're at 61 bucks. If you have banks, you can really maximize hazard trays. Well, we do. Oh, hey, Finley. Uh, hey, cheap was... might be nice, it's just an expensive build of the month. That's partially what we're thinking, is this last one yep. went so big that we're gonna try and... I wanna be, on, I wanna be, I wanna be ideally, 300 bucks or less. Ideally, mind. this would be a great okay. thing that we could show to people who have been thinking about getting into Dwarven Forge but haven't yet, yeah. as a way to just kind of like buy into it with something that's a little more special hmm. than like a starter dungeon. Um, Man, I can't believe you're coming at the starter dungeon like that. <laughs> starter dungeon's I great, I, but I, I to get them something with like some some more like flavor to it. Yeah, no, this is, is like uh, I, I'm, it's nice. Yeah, I'm with you. Like the idea of a sunken temple ruin. It sounds like that's what we're it. going for. There's Let's a couple people who wanted hazards instead, but it seems like waters. mob rules. That's how we. Yeah. <laughs> see what they're here. All right, so I just thought it will probably evolve from here, but oh, and I should move him east a little bit. Cool. The small tray with elevation and stilts. Need a build of the month stream widget that keeps track of the cost in the corner. That would be awesome. We, man, if we could get an API that just lets us like type in sets that we're using and it and just, just displays it. It brings up the little a link and like a picture and the cost. That would be incredible. Train some sort of robot to do this trick, Chris. I think that's a good use of your time. Uh, <laughs> Put yourself out of work. Yeah. All right. <laughs> like, so uh, we're going to start with the ruins pack. Another $71. So oh, we, someone... What? Merck just got back and says someone else did buy the quicksand tray. So they're like, all right, which one of you took it? Uh, <laughs> all right, so we're at, uh, we're, we're at another 71. So we're already halfway to our... Uh... Oh, did Tyler put the prices of all the pieces yeah. there? That's and, awesome. And a little list of uh, things that are in there. It's, Perfect. it's dynamite. Yeah. Take the big as a base and the small ones will level up. Can you? Is there Ooh. a way to like do like a spill out of the water? Yeah, there's a way. There's uh, a cheap one. I have in here. No, but <laughs> let's see what we got. Just like one sewer piece. Uh, let's, go, uh, let's go to the other camp so we can see the wonderful, delightful. Uh, see how nice these things look. Well, let me let me put down the exposure on this. And pan up. Look at these things. These are yeah. these are pretty. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, these are ruined. These things had to I wait. I love I love the vaulted dungeon, man. They had to wait in the wings for a cavern's deep. We couldn't get them into Dungeon of Doom, so they'd been sculpted and they sat there patiently waiting for a year. It is uh, really funny how many pieces that have a story like that. Oh yeah, they all, there's always like a few things that get like rolled over and are waiting for their chance to get in. And some of them don't even like that. The Necromancer Drawbridge had to wait from, had to wait four years, I think, before it, it, was, it finally came out. No, I guess it was Hellscape, so it was like three. Yeah, people are super yeah. into the idea of elevating the six by six. All right, we'll, we'll yeah. get there. Yeah. That's right. Do we? Here's a question. Do we? Um, do we use the swampy side or do we use the plain old water side? Do we use the swampy side? Um, let me put a poll. I, I it's, somewhere like OBS is process. Mm. I just updated OBS today when we launched it, so I think it was that. Hmm. I think they might have given a bad update. Okay, yeah, we're back on. No, no problem. Welcome back to Dwarven Forge Live. Yeah, because our because the month. Yeah, because because our internet. Didn't go down or anything. And we're done. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you yeah. tonight. Yeah. Oh, did you guys miss that? I'm yeah. sorry. 
We have um, all right, more. so yeah, Swamp Water won with 70%, so we're going with Swamp okay. Water. Um, now let me just look back through the story ideas. Did I tweet that thing? I did. Uh, let's see. The one with the rock edge won both sides and a black void in most of it. Oh, I don't think we're... No, it wasn't your computer. I saw it too. It just started like freaking out. And then OBS wouldn't even let me stop the stream. Uh, so I had to just like, I had to end task and just like pull the plug on OBS. Like, I don't know what happened, but it, it, it freaked out. We had too many cool people in one place. Like, OBS always... being a pain right after updating is common. Yeah, that's what I think is like, there was, a, there was an OBS update like this morning. All right, so um, why are we in the swamp? What are we, uh, what are we doing? What's here? Uh, let's see. First thing we'd love to see the train tray that has the major void. What if the deluxe version has the train trays? You could add more runes for under 300. Mm. Mm. That'd be interesting. Just have a version that you, like... All right, if you had to choose between having a deluxe and a standard or a painted and an unpainted, which would you choose? Burroughs Accessories Painted is a good option to play with runes and bangs. Do we have that in stock? Maybe. Also, do we want to make Tyler grab that for us? <laughs> no, let me play with these first, and we'll but put it on the, uh, in, the in the idea hopper. So it's actually, let's see. I might need to throw in, oh, what's our total at? Where we had, so we have a Dungeon Ruins at 71, Cave of Water Terrain Trade Multi-Pack at 61, and a Ledges Pack at 54. Let's see, you could, match, you could match the small stilts with the Ledges Pack. I'm just trying to catch up on everything we lost while uh, the stream freaked out. Mm -hmm. I think they passed out from the Swamp Gas. Maybe that could be a thing. Maybe there's some kind of con they have to, have to make as they're going gas. through it. Just Ooh. Swamp gas. Yeah, maybe it's a maybe the further you travel in the um, right in the water, like each step cumulatively makes a check harder or something, right? Like you you the exposure. Just the dungeon of flatulence. We Ugh. have some kind of NPC at the end, and that's genuinely what's uh. happening. Uh, My boys would like that. Burrows accessories. You can use the ants, the silicon webs, the spike floor, breached wall, surface transition hole, rocky pillar, a scatter, all for just thirty dollars. Plays very well with runes and ledges. Whoa, that is very good. Do we, Wait, what's in it? So it's got the ruined wall. Yeah, it's got what else? Bro, uh, ants, silicon webs, spike floor, breached wall, surface transition hole, rocky pillar. Uh, wow. So basically everything. Wow, that is a good. That's uh, that's a pretty good thing to throw. I don't in know here. how many we have in stock. Is the question. Um, do you want me to ask Tyler? Somebody want to hack the, uh, yeah, was, or we have our, Who, our... Who's the best person to ask? Tyler or... Uh, Eric. I bet someone watching will, knows how to, to, uh, Yeah, if, if anybody, if anybody can do the F12 trick to look up the, uh, the inventory quantity on that, that'd be great. That would be a good, um, that's a fun... It's what, the Burroughs Accessories Pack is what it's called? Yeah. Um, a vaulted dungeon elevation pack. Those are fifty nine dollars painted. If we need to elevate, uh, I might try to roll back uh, the update because they might have just pushed a they might have just pushed a bad update. Um, bad that's update. that's really unfortunate. I'm trying to think of like what else could be causing it. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. So, okay, so Eric got back. We've got 64 painted in stock. Of the Cree, uh, the, of, the, of the Burrow accessories pack, and 46 unpainted. That's awesome. So, wow, that's, that's, a, that's a great. We've got a. Right, you want to ping, ping Tyler and see if he's got any bandwidth to pull the thing together, because that would be awesome. Because that, that, that's, a, that's a really fun combination of bits. What are we at right now? Does anybody, did anybody do the math? Uh, I think Neofoya counted and said we were just under 200. I think we're at like okay. 170 something. So then that could, so that's where in safe... Uh, 196 is what yeah. your foyer counts. So then that would put us at, what is it, 31? Uh, that would put us yeah, at he was one, saying it was like $30. Two, that would put us at 227 or something, 226 if it's $30. And then um, that gives us room for, it's a couple, of, right? We could do, we could even do another ruins pack or... Maybe, do we bring in a starter dungeon for some unruined pieces? Um. <laughs> Meta Elite says, perfect, don't add anything and I can use my gift card to buy it for free and only pay shipping. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess they got the right. castle. Congrats. Uh, why, did they, why did they buy the castle? 
<laughs> what were you thinking? Yeah, what no, you... <laughs> like what was you know what was it? Why like what what made it what made it worth worth your while? Why what was the? Uh, I'm curious. Like I'm curious, what worked? Did they have Castle already? Were they getting into it for the first time? Was this like? It's looking really cool. Was it yeah. that just brilliant video? <laughs> what was the? Uh, what put the? Um... All right, we've got a couple. You're in the swamp looking for a better internet connection, or alternatively for a hideout to to, got, to, to get rid of the, the 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 law enforcers chasing you. Swamp gas keeps knocking out your. Uh... You could be there to activate an ancient portal to find an ancient artifact as a gateway to a future release subterranean dungeon. Uh, all right, I have an idea. A flatulent ogre lives in these swamp ruins, comfortable with his solitude. One day, his swamp is overflowing with nearby people who are banished from their kingdom by an evil lord. It's Shrek. The joke is yeah. that we do Shrek. I, 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 um, <laughs> I was I was getting there. I was like... <laughs> Anybody out there have a really good, like, Shrek impression that wants to cameo? That's funny. Dude, do we just... Do we have the donkey? Do we have the... Uh, let's see. Unruined, then falling apart ruins would work swapping out to a variance range race. I think the only problem with having the build twice is that it would push up the price, price. point. Um, also, I, I think, and I could be wrong, I feel like sort of focusing the theme a little bit like I don't know. I'm. I'm. Curious. Did any, did they get back about the um about why they bought the castle? Uh, Before they have not. That. Although okay. Paul says he was here since last month's build of the build of the month video, and he's covered it ever since. There was a couple people on the Paul's Discord. Paul's been talking about it for yeah. Paul's been really into it. Uh, I know Neofoya bid on it. Uh, she got unpainted. Um, wow, bold. Well, because she's painted castle stuff already, so she wanted it to match yep. the stuff she did. Makes sense. Um. But I'm curious, so my, my theory is that focusing it a little, I don't know, I could be wrong, but focusing it, like, if it's, if we can focus on mostly ruin these stuff, then it's like a neat way to get a bunch of ruins in one, like a cool, like it's like a ruins mega, right? Or like a, a neat way to get, um, get a bunch of ruins stuff, particularly if we can get this, this accessory pack has me really excited. Whose idea was that? That was a really, uh... That was Paul. Uh, that was there's a couple one. other, let's see. Okay, so they just got back. It was perfect timing. I bought the two square corners and a postern gate as a test of the system, and then this build of the month came along, and I decided this is a great way to get enough pieces for a more complete castle set for my game. Oh, especially they already had what two corner towers and a postern. Two square corners and a postern gate. Yeah, it's perfect. So you've got like just like you've got the ultimate. Yeah, that is a really good. Uh, it's a good mix. Maybe add the plague stone deadly plants. I literally have them uh, oh. sitting here. Ready. That's a, uh, that's a, that's a really good, uh, cause that would really swamp it up. Um, so <laughs> Let's speak. swamp it up. Swamp it down? Swamp it all around? Uh, let's what see. do we, um, why, I still don't know why we're here in this swamp. Um, what, I don't know what I'm building. I'm just, right now I'm just kind of try, trying to do some like scattered bits so there's a reason to, you have to kind of travel from one to the other to whatever. You could do, we could do the search thing Right, so we have this really fun. I also noticed in this build of the month video, I just say fun all the time. Like it's, I probably say it 14 times in the video. Uh, we have this neat little gag where it's the, it's the, the rubble pile that then you can remove and there's a divot there so you can actually hide some treasure or some something. Um, so we could, we could put that to great use. Like we could scatter these three you get three piles of rubble in three different places. You have to search all of them, but they're, you know, there's something. What is happening? Did we crash again? No, it hasn't oh. crashed, but it's it's struggling. It's like Max Headroom. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what's causing the problems today. Um, it says we're still up though, so I'm gonna gonna cool. trust that. Uh, Tell us if we're not. <laughs> yeah. Can they? Can they? They can, yeah. Like okay. th that's the thing is like our internet's not going down, so I can still see the chat even when the stream crashes. That's so weird. Like, that's weird. Uh, I hope it's not something on the computer dying, but it's probably not the probably not the case. Um, it helped that the expensive build came out halfway through the year from the Kickstarter and during tax season when people get tax returns. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be a thing to keep in mind in the future. We had stimulus checks, tax returns off. We're we're not on the. Uh... Oh, it's a break from the Kickstarter timeline. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Neofoya says they jumped on the build of the month because they wanted more castle stuff, and they've been trying to decide for a long time where to start with expanding, and this is perfect for that. 
It's a kind of a nice mix, and you get the gift card, and uh, huh. Well, I think we're based on it. It was it was kind of a bear getting this thing up and out. So I think we we probably will only do like a, a mega sized one once a year or something. So maybe it's kind of the halfway point between Kickstarters or whatever if we do it again. Yeah. Um, also consider the large ruined tower add-on for thirty-three dollars. Mm. Why don't we Why don't we get the stuff that we've got down right now yeah. and then see what it looks like we can. Uh, Did Tyler? Uh, he said he was able to do it in five, so he should be here any That's second. With awesome. It. Yeah. Yeah, because we're actually almost filling out like I've. So what do I? So what? Uh, I guess yeah. This is a much faster thing to put together than the castle. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, well, we'll try a couple of different layouts and see what actually yeah. works based on. Uh, we've got a couple other story ideas here. Yeah. What do we got? Let's, uh, let's, Cleric let's finds out that there's a story. temple to his god being defiled, and he's tasked with reconsecrating the ground. Um, Ooh. Although it's it's been pretty defiled at this point. Yeah, it's. But I like this, this is a little past. This is a little past defiled. No, but it could be like a fa you know in the past like it was a long long ago defiled right and now it's like finally it's they need to you know they need to set right what was was made wrong so long ago and like you know restore harmony to this once sacred land which has now been flooded or whatever. Uh, Rad Austin is here and says this is a really great idea to get the runes together. They're a strong and fun trope in D and D. They are. Yeah. Right? You're always running into trouble in ruins. Um, yeah, because if something's destroyed, like there's some buildings, then it's probably yes. still around. And, and there's yeah. mystery around it, and there's lost knowledge, and there's generally danger, and there tends to not, you know, you're out of, you're off the beaten path a little bit, and hobbits. Yeah. Um, how many castles have we sold so far? We had sold four before we started the stream. I'm not sure if we sold any since we went up. Which is a lot. Although, right? I mean, the emails went out about a half hour ago, so we probably sold at least one off of the emails. My guess was that we were going to sell, um, I guess we were going to sell four. Is Build of the Month live on the site? <laughs> or six, yep. I said. Build of the Month went up two and a half hours ago. So just went up. Uh, let's see. Sunken Mausoleum. Searching for the elusive Sunken Mausoleum. Mm. <laughs> uh, they, they didn't quite find it, but they, if they keep searching one, at least one Kickstarter from now, they'll find it. <laughs> we found a sunken mausoleum. Uh. <laughs> uh, I really like the idea of starting a new series that has a story that carries over for a couple months. So here's, here's what we're, we're talking about. Selena's missing out on it. We're, the, um, uh, we're talking about doing a new season. Right? We're going to take a hiatus for the Kickstarter, and we're talking about starting a new season of Build the Month then, and we'll start with some new characters um, and have a story arc that might loosely carry through the whole thing, which could be really fun. Um, I got this long guy. So let me go bring back. I like consecrating a consecrating thing. Maybe they have to find the, the thing first, like the, you know, the, lo the lost reliquary or whatever, um, and then consecrate the whole area. Right? It was the resting place of a hero of yore. Or some, some sort. Um, let's see. A wish spell went wrong and the party finds themselves trying to get the McMuffin, but they were sent to the future where the thing is actually in the place. Uh, Whoa. Oh! That's cool. I love when wish spells backfire like that. I also like that like, it was a McMuffin. You could throw a stone starter set in there for the deluxe version. I'd like to see what these stone building walls look like with some of the ruined edges. You know, stand them up. Find, uh, you mean the, the regular? You got a bunch of those there too? I have, a, I have a starter dungeon standing by for just that purpose. I have a starter dungeon and deadly plant standing by. I want to get these, um, if we get these burrows things, if we get the burrows accessories in, see what that feels like, and then either plants or starter dungeon or both. I wonder what both puts us over. Man. Oh yeah, the ruins of Thunder Tree. I think about that. Ruins that's of um, Tree? that's uh, one of the locales from Lost Minds of Fendelver. Love it. Um, so we're just basically slowly rebuilding or building the Lost Minds of Fendelver in each of these. Basically, is what you're I, I just, yeah. I remember when we did that build a, with the dirt road yep. during Wildlands, and everybody's like, "Oh, this is just the beginning Fendelver. encounter from Lost Minds." <laughs> it's like, yeah, basically, but it's also just like a generic enough. That's like the whole thing with Lost Minds. Like Lost Minds is. Your generic starting D and D adventure. Yep. It hits all the. There's some goblins. The there's some bandits. There's yeah. an ambush on the road. There's yeah. Uh, two plucky hmm. bandits get information that there's a roadblock up ahead where the city guards are searching wagons and backpacks for stolen items. Faced between confronting the guards or taking the alternative route through the marsh of madness, they take their chances and make their way into the bog. 
What lurks? Uh, family then the heirloom. party has to find them? I suppose. That or they are the party. Oh, the bandits are the party. Potentially. <laughs> Classic um, murder hoboing about. Family heirloom lost beneath the swamps, a swamp which asks for help. Kids from the local town are having drunken bacchanalias in local ruins. Uh, wow, why does it keep sending me to the bottom every time somebody sends a new message? I'm trying to read back. Uh, temple officials are worried it's recruiting for a local cult. We just did a cult, so we need to... Yeah. We need to decult. We do a lot of cults. Uh, well, another great trope, right? Yeah. Like the Side of a temple built upon the swamp that covers the corpse of a dead god. Their power Whoa. permeates the land, and... The... Uh, and the heroes must find an artifact that has been draining the life from the land and slowly resu resurrecting the dead evil god. Kind of sounds yeah. like that Earth Titan thing that we did it's for... Uh, yeah. Your game build. Yeah. Which, you know, by the way... They have, they have now, they captured the, uh, they, they went in and basically stopped the whole thing and captured the castle and are now driving an Earth Titan around. Uh, it's, it's looking for a mountain of Wyverstone to eat. So they're trying to find, so they've broken off. And it's really fun, my nephew is now, is, is DMing for like a four or five section chunk. So I get to play now. We're looking for a chunk, a, a mountain of Wyverstone to feed the, Earth Titan, so it'll be our friend and go kill the hobgoblins that are marching on the town. That sounds like a Zelda quest. It's awesome. So they're driving the Jory and they had to figure out where to park this, like, just castle, you know, this, like, half a mile Earth Titan castle, like, just had to park down and, oh! Here it is! Uh, reinforcements have arrived. Uh, the players are here to acquire a rare swamp creature Thank slash plant sir. for a collector that only lives in this location. They have to find it and also survive the other things here, leeches, crocodiles, etc. You don't need to whisper it. Oh, okay. So there's no, we have no fire ants currently. Yeah. Uh, we'll have just, to find them. But we have them, but we have them in the store, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah we just physically don't have any here. Cool. If, of all the things to missing us, sorry, what was the, so thank you so much, Tyler. We were singing your praises earlier. Uh, oh, wait, this says it's $48. Who said 31? That's a good question. Maybe Unpainted is 31? I don't know. Uh, the players are here to acquire a rare swamp creature slash plant for a collector that only lives in this location. They have to find it and also survive the other things here. Leeches, crocodiles, etc. So they're on like a botanist mission. Um, what if... Yeah, oh, here's the... What if we double whammy it? Right? What if we, what if we have like a couple... Right? There's a couple of things going on. Right? Because there's nothing worse like getting dragged along and the cleric has got to do this thing. You're like... Oh. But like the rogue is like, listen, there's a bounty hunter that's paid good gold. If we can get a... Uh, you know, if we can get a poison bloom, a fresh poison bloom, like, that's maybe, worth cash. Maybe the reason it, it only glows here is because the blood of the dead god is, 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 is like, fertilizing yes, this area, basically. Yes. So it only, it only grows yes. from, like, the blood of this god, basically. In fact, if they harvest this thing now and then purify the area, no more is going to, so they'll get, like, the last harvest. They'll have the only one there. Right? So then the price goes up. Well, that could, that can be so the thing. It's, it's, it's like, it's, 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 I'm in, I'm it's, in. It's, 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 yeah, that could be, like, the whole thing is it's, like, so do you leave this area so that you can keep selling this as, like, a black market good? Or do you right. purify this to stop this, like... But then the value goes up enormously because you've got the last sample. So you're, like, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is, I like this. This is, like, having, having a couple of objectives at the same time is awesome. Yeah. Oh, we got a big old hole. This is awesome. Uh, apparently we have 77 of the Deadly Plants pack, uh, in stock, so yeah, yeah. Well, I, I pulled it literally because it was, it was a what we, it would be really good, and b we had them in stock. So, and it, and it would be really awesome. All right, so we'll so hang on. So if we have people seem really into that story, this is fun. This is yeah. a really fun story. So hang on. So if, so we add in burrow accessories. Uh, I've got an official word that's forty eight dollars, um, and we have the deadly plants at fifty five. So what does that put us total? I think we're that become we're dangerously. Well, Closer okay, so over you're talking, okay. you've got the terrain trays, you've got the... So we're at 61 plus 71. So terrain trays are 61. Okay. Ruins are 71. So 132. Ledges are 54. 186. Uh, mystery bin, what the heck was in this? Uh, I have the, the ledges, the thing. Oh, this is the new, the new Burroughs accessories. 48. And the plants at uh, two thirty four. The plants at fifty five. Two thirty four, two eighty nine. Really? Yeah. Hey. Okay. So this is it. We're gonna stop right here and build. <laughs> let's let's, let's see how it looks after yeah. we do all this. Worst yeah. case scenario, we throw a starter dungeon in. Maybe we did, we. 
ugh, they're going to kill me if we're trying to deluxify a non. I was going to say we could pull the terrain trays out, and have the non the non deluxe version has has no terrain trays. The deluxe version has the terrain trays, and then that gives us the breathing room for the starter dungeon. Does in. it does right. it make the deluxe situation easier if all that's changing is terrain trays? No, it's the whole. It's it's just executionally. It's a whole. It's a thing that Johanna has to build, and it's a whole. I don't know. Would it be thing. better with since we'd have more of a heads up this time? Because like with the castle, there's kind know. of a. I, I I can certainly inquire. I, okay. Everybody's a little. This morning they were running a little run a little ragged um, because uh, uh, it was just a lot to gather. So it's like it needs they need to let the dust settle and see what we got. Okay, so here's what we're gonna. So here's oh we got so much fun stuff here. So and this is what this is like a little over. This is like a two by one and a half build. Yeah. It's not bad coverage. Yeah, that's that's so a good, that's a session. We've got these we've got these poison balloons. I go back to the uh, the closey. Right, so we've got these guys. We got two of these guys to play with. We have a little vine lasher, who's just is nasty evil pomegranate. We got a couple of fallen logs, to play with. Then we've got we can use the egg sacks from the burrows. Oh. Look like plants, right? These are some sort of nasty the, swamp something. Those could also potentially be the seeds. Mmm. Like, and they're guarded by this other stuff. They've got to harvest those things. And there's a couple of spots of them. And yeah, 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 yeah. Then we also have, we've got these webs, so we can do something with, we can do something with that. And we have, we've got this hole which we can plug, right? We can put the solid, we can put that solid thing in there. And this could be a surprise attack, like trapdoor spider type thing, or um, or something, some horrible beast or tentacle nonsense or who knows what. All right. So we got this thing to play with. Those. We also have. I don't know how it fits in because we've got these three spike traps, which feels like I feel like we're somewhere. There isn't like there isn't there isn't somebody here, right? How, how many? Of nowhere. Pro, yeah, yeah. Like it seems and like this. It also, seems like this would be a place where like the whole point is that this is not a friendly there, place to right? be. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So unless there's I don't know. So I'm gonna put those aside for now, but because they don't necessarily make sense. And we have these two. The burrows and caps are probably gonna be really hard to use, uh, but we have them standing by. Ooh. Although you know what I could do. What if, what if... I got a thing, I got a plan for those. Uh, if, if, if you have somebody that's used to setting up traps, those could be traps that the player set up and try to use to defend themselves, potentially. Mm -hmm. If it takes time to harvest. Who, and maybe they're given to them by the that's NPC. Something, that's something I wish was done more in D&D. &D. Like the, the concept of like setting up traps around an area. Yes. Like Home alone. It was easier yeah. in 3.5, I feel like, than in 5e. Because they had I like a skill specifically about like setting up traps. Set and disarm traps. Yeah. Um... I think uh, I think maybe we'll let's hold those as we, a, have, as we got an idea. We have three, and we have this thing. Do we have three floor holes for all the? Uh... No, we only have the one floor holder. So, okay. but we can we can freestand these these eggs as like plants, which is great. We got we have all these guys. We have all this fun like fun decorative MacGuffin-y stuff to throw out there. These the spikes I'm not sure about. The floor hole feels like it wants to be a reveal or something, right? Like this. The, floor the, hole with the, the ants could the like, ants could come streaming out oh, yeah, of there. Yeah, we got the two ants in there. Yeah. 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 But okay, we gotta make these ants cool, right? I hate giant ants, right? <laughs> giant rats, giant ants, gi boring, mundane creatures that are just larger, like irk me to no end because they're just like, who cares? I want, I want don't, drama. I want danger. Don't, I want this thing. Don't to be... these, don't these ants like? Aren't they like a weird color? Like they're, they're kind of reddish. They're like they're kind of reddish. Ranchy. What if these ants are also from blood, like the blood of the blood god? Ants. Yes. These, these are yes, literally like yes, the divine yes, blood of yes, this god. Yes. And this, this is this is like it's immune system basically. They've got intellect. Right? Maybe yeah. they're like, yeah, they're like... They could yes. have like almost some of like the qualities of like an avatar of, of this god, yes. basically. They're godlike ants. See, now you're talking, now they're, ant gods... Like, 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 like instead of being like beasts, they could be like... What would you classify that as? I, I guess it depends on the god. They could maybe be a fiend or an aberration. Right there, yeah. yeah. Like it's some, or they're monstrosities. It's some weird, it shouldn't be. Like they're just sort of grown like... Yes, okay, so now... People are shouting blood ants and vorpal ants in chat. Yes, dude. They're blood, blood ants for the blood ant god. <laughs> <laughs> blood ants for the blood ant god. It's 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 a given. We got it. okay. So we got we got blood ants. We got, and then maybe they're okay. What do we do? We have this big old hole. We should design a stat card for them. Yes. Yeah. This is a fun. Uh, you want to do that? Yeah. I'd love to. Awesome. We could even potentially crowdsource that with the with, oh, yeah. the, with the chat. Like, what I ability they, should I this ant have? I think they can have a stat card before this stream is done. Yeah. <laughs> if people if people have ideas for that, yeah. like that'd be fun. Just like special Put abilities. Put it up on the on the Discord. We can have uh, cool. throwing some stats for the thing. Okay, so we've got a um, we got this wall with a hole. This is like we've got to do something cool with this. So it could be a um, it could be a portal, right? It could be a thing like it looks like there's a plain old hole, but if you step through it, it does. Uh, it does some sort of thing. It could be. Oh. 
Um, is there a way to put, let's see. Throw a web over the hole. We, um, could, we could throw webs Scottish, over. Scottish Jeff, which is a great name, <laughs> says. Uh, Where's he from? He, uh, can't tell. Uh, the more blood they feed on, the larger they get. So like potentially, like oh. if, if they're in like the Every swamp they water. They do damage, they do, they do. You, oh. They get, they take blood from the. Leeches, leeches, Le leeches in the water. They're yeah. draining the players. And if the ants get in the water with the players, they're getting, growth. and if they do damage to you, they gain, they're just like getting bigger every time they do damage. Maybe, so maybe, maybe if they're in the swamp water too, like maybe it like gives yes. them like higher AC or something. Yes. Like, oh. Or like regeneration. I've never been when they're so scared of ants. Yeah, the regen, if you're yeah. in the swamp water, leeches are getting you. Well, well, this looks pretty cool, right? We can put the uh, that's pretty sick. The web in here. So wait, do these ants also spin webs? Is this what I'm hearing? <laughs> Is this what's going on? Do blood ants make, blood ants also make <laughs> webs, I think, right? Because uh, clearly we have, I mean, this, we have to do this, right? So, Neofoya says an acid breath weapon since some ants have acidic spit. Wow. Give it like a breath weapon, like a dragon. <laughs> So there's like these ants so come out. So they're dragon blood, blood dragon ants <laughs> with, that can also spin wet. I, this is, I think a lot of this like depends on like which god are they coming from, right? Because then like just basically give them like abilities that like fit Maybe this it's god. a god of nature. Maybe it was a corrupted god of nature, right? And these are all natural, like it's just gathering all the abilities of all sorts of different So it's a god that animals. like leeches from nature as opposed to like Ooh, protecting it? What's the antithesis of like, yeah. It's a parasite. So like a god built around like blighting basically? A god parasite, uh, yeah. The god of a, par a, a parasite god. Hmm. Who would worship this god? Why is it a <laughs> giant ticks? Like, um. It well, it seems kind of like you know why? Why are some people necromancers? You know, it's cool. Yeah, I mean, basically. To get well, it's ticks, it's the idea. Like... So you could look at it as like the concept of like taking like so. There's all this like power and magic in nature, and it's power. like pulling from nature to like power it. And they're like, we're not taking it from like people or things that matter. So like. Hmm. Oh, so it's drawing, it's a, yes. It's, well, it's the same way as a predator eating prey. Yeah. But they're just drawing, they're drawing the energy to say, like, yeah, yeah, there's a, I like this. So, so that could be the entire thing, is it could just there's be like, it's, a, it's like, like a survival of the fittest thing. It's like, we, we have our power over these things, so like, use that power. Um, I mean, this see. is the kind of thing you see, the players see a thing with a web in there and they're already gonna get Riled up. Uh, Meta Elite understand. says Mirad is the god of disease, deception, fire, and pestilence, and is believed to be the cause of the plagues that peril the world. world. Wow. Is Where, that a real god, or are you making that you up? Just make that up. Because you're making that up. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's going in. That's canon. Dragon blood spider ant. Dragonborn spider fire ants. <laughs> 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 Who is that god of insects? Uh, I don't know. There are like ten quintillion insects in the world that got to be praying to someone. Yeah. So maybe it is just like maybe it's the insect guy and it has all the powers of uh, well, although ants aren't insects but I mean um uh, not uh, uh, spiders aren't but maybe something else. other things can weave webs right yeah spiders aren't the only uh, there's gotta be beetles that like do ants count be insects who make webs ants aren't parasitic are they do they count as parasitic dude flying vorpal dragon blood ants are that's fair I'm just, <laughs> it's totally fair <laughs> like they or maybe or maybe part of the power is that like yeah like maybe that's the thing is like with with insect life and everything he can. Where he basically just, turns them into his into his into his thralls. They're more growing less. more. Yeah, they're gaining more power, more abilities. Uh, the more they draw, he could have. A, it can be age. almost kind of like. Um, wow, I'm blanking on the on the on the mushroom name. Cordyceps. He can have like almost a cordyceps yes. effect where like he gives them power in exchange for controlling them. Yes. Yeah. Um, Wastry right. from Greyhawk. Uh, preventative worship. Worship the parasite god to not get parasites. Oh, oh like in his favor because otherwise they're yeah. afraid if they don't yeah. serve him then that's, like that's the that's a great way to uh, That's a great way to get followers listen follow me or die. confuse the players have the webs But they're actually fungus and not spider webs webs that, webs that grow when in contact with fire Wow <laughs> Who came up with that? That, is uh, that was Finley that is awesome. which kind of feeds off of if we're using this guy because I think yeah. fire was like one of the things that Mirad was also the god of so if that could be that could be like the thing it feeds them it's a 5e e god, apparently, uh, Mirad is. Huh. Maybe it's similar to Illithids who burrow into the brains of their host bodies. Could be Cthulhu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Cthulian dragon blood vorpal death ants. Of <laughs> the ants have the highest Schmidt sting pain index in it. it. Wait, is the sting pain index a thing? Sting pain index. The Schmidt sting pain index. <laughs> Who's poor Schmidt? <laughs> he's like, <laughs> was, that's the question. Hey, was yeah, he just stung so by a bunch much. of things and he's like, this is how much it hurt? <laughs> or like, was <laughs> This Schmidt is hurting? Brown mold webs. Uh, there's that fungus that causes insects Brown. to climb up high and then explodes them. Wait, oh, what? That's a thing? 
That sounds it awful. makes insects high, and then that's they... that's not cordyceps, right? Because cordyceps <laughs> are like the zombie. Fungus. Yeah, the zombie focus that takes you over. This is the best. Uh... It is funny how much Last of Us lets me pretend like I know things. I uh, I haven't played, but I heard it's really good. It is one of the better cinematic achievements in gaming, I think, in terms of just cinematic like telling a telling a narrative. In gaming, wow, yeah. that is a statement. Maybe it's an early evolution of Xenomorphs before they got all alienish. You can have that kind of otherworldly mm-hmm. thing to it. It's aberration-y. There's a YouTube channel to watch this guy get stung by things. Oh. There's a YouTube channel for everything, if, if you look for it. Good old internet. What? Good old internet. Let's see. Alright, so we have this, uh, this web. Ophiocordyceps unilateralis is the fungus. Okay. Introgus, god of infestation, corruption, and the consumption of life. Followers of Introgus were known to be infested by insects and would let them feed on their own bodies to empower their god. A quick Whoa. homebrew that he just made up, apparently. Wow, that is awesome. Send that to us. <laughs> I want it. That is awesome. I think, that, I think literally all that exists of this god is what he just what he just wrote. Chat. Yeah, well, copy and paste it. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, the, yeah I'm, I'm putting this down. Put this in the thing. If we, if we literally like create a god here, and then we can say, like, yeah, here's like a quick description of like this, this deity, so you can add this into your campaign if you want. It's fun. So a stat card for the ants, and then also a deity, like homebrew yeah, <laughs> supplement. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, this he, is, says go ahead and, he says go ahead and take it. This is why we're here. I mean, if we use it, do we have yeah. to offer him the camera? Yeah. And he, well, gets to, he gets to voice the god. Ooh. He voices the god. That's, I mean, do you want to, uh, so, we, so we're going to do, so we had a great success with Aimee doing a cameo in this month's Build of the Month as Jakaris, she named the Dragon Board, did the voice. It's fun thing. So we're going to continue this tradition. Um, so who was it that came up with it? Uh, Meta Elite. One, Meta of the, Elite. one of the people who bought the castle, actually. Too. Would you be interested in, do you want to do a voiceover cameo as the, uh, the god, whatever the name of the god that you just invented in trogus in trogus which would i like you? that it seems like it's like kind of taken from entropy yeah as awesome. the as a root name do you want to uh would you like to record the voice uh you can do it on your phone or on your computer or whatever yeah. low pressure uh just just a quick little feature in the video basically yeah. and if you want to see what it's like you can look at this month's build of the month and see what uh see what Imi did uh for uh with Dracaris. um but if you're interested, that's uh, you get the first crack at the cameo. The vine lasher plant makes the webs. What if the vine lasher is a spider that he's like yes, transformed? Definitely, definitely. And so it so the, the or yeah. is infected. It's a it's a it's it's insects. There's spider, there's spiders. There's spiders inside the mouth. They've taken over the thing, oh. right? It was a plant mass that's been taken over spiders, and it like skitters about. And it's oh, full that's of terrible! Vomit. Yeah, this place is going to be a horrible place to visit. The swamp is. Oh. This is you know we've come a long way from Shrek. I'll tell you. That's awful. I hate that. It's so good. It's just a bunch of just a bunch of spiders come out of the plant when, yeah. when you cut it open. Ugh. And Meta Elite, no, you know, no pressure. If you don't want to do it, no sweat. Uh, will, uh, Meta Elite says it. he will absolutely do it. Awesome. I'm going to message you to get your email so we can reach out to you, and uh, we'll get that going. I'm so excited. This is fun. <laughs> this is, uh... So I'm thinking... I love this. I love this concept of, like, creating, like, a little world with it. And it's so creepy. And it's so, like... It's fun. All right, so I've got, like... So I've got this... I don't know exactly what I'm building here, but... Oh, he's gonna DM me on Discord. That also works. Perfect. Either way's fine. As long as I get a way to contact you. I've got... Love, love that we're doing horror with this. Yeah, they're getting, yeah. like, some well, body horror and, like... ruin... Yeah. Like, it's exactly, like... It's the right vibe. God, I would love to. Um, Man. Fact, let's, you know, we gotta get, let's go into the swamp. The other thing that I really like about this is with us homebrewing, like, a creature and deity and stuff with this, like, that gives us, like, a little more materials to help promote the thing, too. Yeah. We can say, like, hey, here's this homebrew for this. If you, uh... That's, that's really cool. Helps us flesh out the world of Dwarven Forge a bit as well. All right, we're now in the swamp. It's green. I once slept a fly and a load of maggots squirmed out of the body. Put babies, oh. in, put babies inside of big ones. I hate. Oh, god. So good. All right. So what are we? Oh, okay, so where? Why are we here now? If we're, do we have to? Peer, we have to consecrate the area to to make dormant. What was the name? Entropus? Entro. Entro. Entrogus. So what I was thinking. So initially, so we need to sort of. Initially, Entrogus is awakening. 
Yeah. Right? There's, well, and the, the influence is being felt. Well, so we've got to put Introgus back into uh, slumber. Well, and initially what Finley was thinking is they have to come here to like gather a plant that only grows here, but the reason the plant only grows here is because it's, 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 it's growing it's from this... It's the harbinger of Introgus, right? Yeah. It's just like... It's, 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 it's some sort of like... So they conveniently don't tell them that part. So then they get here and like... Dude, it's a, it's a just a bloodbath. <laughs> Unless the and maybe the cleric has heard tales of this kind of god or something. Yep. If they make a good religion check, definitely. Um, Even if they go poor, they get they get the info one way or another. They just get more on a good check. Like yeah. you got to give them the, like you want them to be afraid. <laughs> once they realize, uh, once they realize this in Trogus, they'll be like, oh wait wait wait. She's like, oh, Claire's like, yeah, I think I read about this. I wasn't paying attention in Sunday school too much, but I think it was. Uh, I think this is really bad. Oh, if a player goes down, they get reanimated by the insects. Oh, oh, I hate this. This is awful. This is so good. Like, uh, okay, hang on. Jot, jot this down quick because we don't want to lose all these things. There's so much. Yes. There's so much flying so fast, and it's getting so squirmy and hideous and amazing. Um, all right. So we've got a couple of. Uh, so are they going for? So maybe there's a whole bunch of different things that they need to. Oh, so maybe these are insect eggs again now. If we're doing, if we're doing insects, whatever, like these are insect eggs. So these maybe can, can pop and like horrible stuff can come out or if you get thrown into them, it just like pops and you just like it's covered with stuff. And if, they, if, they man if, they, if they manage to kill one of the ants, like the DM just like takes that mini and spawns it on one of the eggs now. And oh. like, no, it's, it's still here. Or if they fall in it, they just get, yeah. they get taken by the, the swarm and then they're like animated about and like. Yeah, don't go in this swamp. This place is a terrible place. Uh, what do we... So, okay, so to, to, to set... Um, to get Introgus to go back to sleep, uh, what do they need to do? What's our... Did Nate just say Big Chungus? I don't think he knows that meme. Who? Yeah. Thought, isn't it Introgus? In, what, in, uh, in, in Trogus. Introgus. Introgus. Or Entragus, however we want to pronounce it. Entragus is cooler. Entragus. Uh, feed them to the leeches. If you want inspiration, watch the remake of King Kong when they're on the giant island and they get chowed on by huge bugs. Or, you know, don't because it's hard to forget the leech bit. I don't know if I can do that. I'm struggling Whoa. enough with the fact that I get my vaccine tomorrow and I'm really bad with needles and I'm trying yeah. not to think about that. Well, dude, who wants to s someone to stick a stick you with a, with a dagger? It's yep. like, yeah. So between that no. and just all this insect body horror going on, it's, yeah. like, no, it's going to be a great pretty, uh, 24 hours. Yeah, no, I, I'm not a, not a fan of needles either. The plant shoots out the maggot spawn of the ants. Maggot spawn Ugh. is uh, the seeds. How many ants are in that pack? Two. Two. Okay, but this, they can keep spawning, right? Like, yeah. Let's just keep them like the seeds they are sent to collect are actually eggs, but they only find that out when inspecting them closely. Oh yes, they think these are the right. They're the seeds of uh, what do we call mentrigus? Yeah. Or what something. they they like they think they're seeds, but they're not seed seeds. What they're, if? Okay, so what if? Yeah, so the ants come out of the, the seeds, and what it is, is over time, like, what if the ants are actually still just, like, a larva stage of the poison bloom plant? Mm. And so then over time, like, the plant then grows out of the ant, and... The plant out of the ant. Yeah. The only downside with that is it's going to look cooler to have the plants out there... Yes. ...from the get-go. Yes. But what if... We could use the vine lasher... Hey, Rabbit Burner. Uh, hey, things Rabbit. got things got real gross while you were gone. We were talking about you. Yeah. Not and no relation to things getting gross. Uh, ask Nate to take a pair of pliers to one of the burrow end caps and then try and plug the other end cap into it. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking about <laughs> yanking the things out, but I uh, I hadn't gotten around to getting some pliers. But yeah. What if they've I, been What if they've been spreading these seeds all over the area unknowingly, and then they don't find out until after the mission is complete? Oh, Cre creepy that's cliffhanger for the mean. end. Mean. Oh, by the way, I hope you guys didn't touch those things, because we... <laughs> you should have people in town addicted to these strange seeds from the swamp. Oh, like they're Ooh. eating them and it's, it's actually infecting them, basically. But they're delicious. Poison blooms are kind of sad. They're just spore traps. When you run ours, they'll be strapped on top of shambling mounts. <laughs> Bye, Six. Thanks for coming by. The evil trick is the person who takes the players to the area is actually bringing them as sacrifices to the evil god. Is it too obvious though to have the have the NPC be the bad like? Yeah, I'm wondering if we have an NPC go with them or if they send them there to try and harvest them, but they're like, don't go because it's scary. The only reason here's what the, the only reason to send an NPC is if we're going to kill them off horribly, right? Like the only like 
like the only like if we have the NPC, it's it's a great way to just you know to to demo some just hideous like just some hideous body horror thing where they get taken by the insects and they turn into a thing or whatever, right? Like we. Because then you, then you can do it without having it have to happen to the PCs, and they can get really nervous, and then worse stuff can happen. So, but I, I, if they, uh, although they could, they could be a betrayer, Ugh. and then they get taken over, and then it gets really bad. The ants are actually former people who ate the eggs. Oof. Maybe that's like the initial, and the initial talking. ones. And so maybe that's why they have intelligence. Join us. I think the NBC should be totally unaware of the problem and really nice. And really nice, and then just get absolutely massacred by, uh, <laughs> yeah. The NPC becomes the spore trap. Oof. Or the poison bloom. Well, that's the brutal thing, right? You go to save the NPC, and then they're just like, pfft, they burst out with, uh, with spores everywhere. There's a lot of stuff. We won't be able to use all these ideas, but there's a lot of ways this can go. It's just absolutely a terrible place to live, to be. The NPC that guides them is just in the ending stages of the incubation period and erupts oh. into one of the ants. Maybe they went there, right? They like they found this place or something, and they're like, "Hey, we, you know, I can take you back there, but it was way out of my." I wonder if they just don't when know. they got infected when they were there, and it's like it's brewing, and they're like coughing, and they're like sick along the way, and then they get there, and it's like. And maybe so you know how like sometimes it'll like and they're really nice and delightful. You know how infestations oh, yeah. will like cause like a sense of euphoria at times. Maybe the reason they're so nice is like that's what it makes them more persuasive. It makes them more gives them like advantage on like charisma checks to persuade people to like try and join, basically. It makes them very sweet and pleasant, and then it takes them into the death, death trap. Oh, that is awesome. Catch more flies with honey and all that. Yeah. Uh, facts. Think invasion of the body snatchers. Eggs eventually become the player characters. Then they have to fight themselves. Oh. oh man, I don't know about, oh. Oh yeah, this is gonna be. After you have the build pretty well established, mind throwing a few wildland swamp banks onto it just to give, <laughs> us, a warm, just to give us a warm fuzzy feeling. <laughs> um, so if we're going for these eggs. So I guess the question is, so was this a temple to that god? The, the, these dungeon ruins? Or was this yeah. like? Yeah, right? I think that's, that's like, cause that's, Maybe it's been lost to history and they're like, oh yeah, this was really unfortunate that this happened and it's actually like, no, this is actually what Introgus wanted yeah. to happen. This was like, the, it, this is the final form. This, this was the actually temple. the end goal for the god, yeah. uh, was to create this bog, basically. Mm, the god bog. Yeah, god bog. Introgus. That's a palindrome, it's not, it's close. God dog is the palindrome. Gob bog? Gob bog. <laughs> It's a gob. It's a goblin bog. Ooh. That'd be a fun build, actually. If one day we'll do a swamp that's just, when we have like the wildland stuff, we'll make it. Goblin. It's the gob bog. If only we had like a bunch of goblins that we could throw in. Could make some. Yeah. We make a bunch of goblins for KS8 that just don't fit in with, at all, but it's like, yeah, hey, we just really wanted to make this build of the month eventually, so. Um, could have been a stolen temple of Melora or something. Oh, so maybe it was like a nature god it temple corrupted. and and Entragus like yes like parasitically like took the space yes, over. Yes, that would be. In it's it's, it's like it's like this yeah. nature this nature god like just so happened to collect all the things that Entragus likes yeah. and he just fucking, he just took it. Um, a temple to the castle god and he's not happy with the lack of dwarvenite siege engines. <laughs> okay, rabbit. The rabbit's back. Yeah. <laughs> or it's a former noble's <laughs> estate who fell to worshiping Entragus. Mm. Entragus. Uh, the parasite the parasite nature took over a Melora temple and turned it into the bog. I like that temple parasitically being yeah. like it's so, that's perfect. The idea of like, this being like a parasite god is, yeah, is awesome. nice. Uh, the Lux version gets a rowboat. <laughs> I wish we had the bayou bar jugs. That'd be a fun way that'd to be the that'd be a fun way to bring them into here. this area. Is if they have to sail across like a big bog to get here. I'm gonna get a pair of pliers. Okay. Uh, I wonder news. why. Yeah. Former druid circle. Circle of spores druids. Ooh. Maybe there's maybe circle of spores druid started this in motion. Yeah. It's like maybe maybe a lot of the followers are spores druids. Nurgle's garden. Oh man. I'm getting. See, here's the problem with me doing these streams is I'm just getting really excited about wanting to run this and I'm gonna balloon like. The uh, <laughs> expectations of like the the home brewing side of this, so I really want us to just make like a supplement to go with this now. 
Are there some light up pieces that could be like a will o' wisp? Uh, we have a wisp. But there are from the crystal this, caverns. Uh, we literally have a light up wisp. Yeah. All right, let me pull this. Man, it's only 310. Nice. And we've basically... We got, we got some really good... Ooh, this is a tricky one. This is looking really good. Yeah, I'm very excited for the... Uh... Are we going to be able to get ants here in time for the shoot? Do we have uh, them? I have, Do ants you have them at home? home? Worst case, Cool. Yeah. Excellent. So, we'll be able to have ants. Okay. Peg what is removed. Nate cutting? So, he's I'm... pliering some burrow end banks, right? Or what is so, it? The, end ca the end caps have, have a peg embedded. Uh -huh. So, I popped uh, the peg out by your request so that you could, we could... Peg two of them together. It's a little make. bathtub. It's a absolutely just gonna say that. But what you can do is you can do like a weird you can put this thing on it and it becomes like a a weird uh, column. Like what do we do with this thing? We could Oh, it could be an ugly like a creepy nest. There's like a web in there. We could put put the eggs on top of it. It's like a, oh it looks like a sushi. What if, what if what it tries to do is it tries to get people to lay down in it? Oh boy. And then oh, and boy. then that's what grows into eggs. Oh boy. Like oh. it uses people as like fertilizer for those little like plant boxes, basically. Well that was the uh, the plant box. It is like it's a planter. Yeah, a little I planter. had the um the the uh sorrow nests from Wildlands, their thing so they're psionic. And their thing was they would blast you with, um, they, they'd sonically attack you, and if, they, if you failed, they would compel you to go put your head down in the, uh, inside the sonar nest, and then it would s close with all the suckers around you, and then just put you in a state of perpetual nightmare and feed on your fear, and gorging itself until eventually you die. Um, same idea, right? Like, just like get, like convince them to, uh, or maybe maybe not convince them, right? Like it could just like carry, like marionette them over, right? So they're still kind of aware, but they just can't control themselves, and they're like dropping down into the uh, into the pit. Hmm. What do we have here? We've got we still have. So what do we? So the poison blooms are spawning because of uh, the seed of. Uh, I guess the thing is, yeah. What do these blooms do for Entragus? Why why is he making these plants happen? Like the ants serve, we, the ants serve as like guards and servants, basically. Yeah. Um, why is he? Why is he growing these plants? He likes pretty things. They spread. They definitely spread spores, right? They spread. Maybe that's what helps him expand right. his territory. Yeah. Maybe maybe the roots of these plants are what turn this into a bog, mm. and kind of it's it's expanding over time as he gets more of these going. Um. Let's see. How does this look? It's a good question. How does this look as like? Does this look like three hundred dollars of of terrain? Mm, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I'm tempted to put a starter dungeon in and deluxify. Like, we could make a more. So right now, hmm, I could put this here. He is like a plant himself, and these are tendrils of him as he expands his body and influence. In D and D, Ooh. the more followers, the more power. So maybe these power the god? These help amplify his strength? Definitely. <laughs> Another nasty. Blooms will paralyze people. The eggs are laid on the paralyzed bodies, so they're oh. still alive when the babies awaken and feed. Ugh. This is probably the grossest one we've ever done. It's awesome. uh, you could use a spike trap as a placeholder for more of those planter boxes. Um... Sleep-inducing spores from the plants. A little dungeon area would be a good addition. Let's see what happens if we add it. Uh, well, let me finish the last Yeah, once, once, we, there's, once we finish using all the pieces that we've got already, let's... Uh, there's something to be said that I need to break that area up over here. Yeti refrigerator was pretty gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Yeti refrigerator. That was like, right, that was a little John Was that Puppery, Shivering Springs? Yeah. When was that? Yeah. Yeah. I guess, yeah, it would be the ice one. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, it's hard to track all these. Uh... Mm. Let's see. I think we have, we're dangerously close to having something. 
I don't know where it's all going to go. This is a really, this is going to be. How many pieces do we have that we haven't used yet? Mm, not a ton. We've got a handful of, we've got the bathtub. <laughs> and then uh, got a couple of spikes. We got another spider web or whatever type of web it is. It might not be spider. Oh, right, it's a fungus, a fungal, fungal secretion. Some, okay, yeah, some kind of stringy fungus. Ugh. That grows when you, when a fire is applied. Loves your shivering springs kit. I mean, your shivering springs did really well. You know what? It was a it was a perfect entry into ice with the addition of. Uh, it looked really cool because of that light panel. Price point was good, right? It was under three hundred bucks. I think it, it was had, that nice thing where like it's a good set to have, but it's not like something that's already covered when you first start your collection. So it was a nice way yep. to dip your toes into a secondary yep. biome, basically. So here's a question. Would people prefer, if you had the choice between having a terrain tray included or having starter dungeon, so for plain, you know, plain dungeon pieces included? It'd be great if we already had our swamp mat. Yeah, this would be so perfect for a swamp it would, mat. It would help keep the price down. Yep. It would, yeah. It'd be a nice 24 to 24. Ice caverns are coming back in the restocks. That's nice. Yeah, and we're doing the the um, the underdoom. Underdoom also, but the the oh, crooked, 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 crooked cavern in yeah. ice also, which is some more ice pieces. To Do open we? Up. Is that coming in the June July or is that? I have no idea. Okay. I know hamsters painting up the paint masters right now. Okay. Because um, that's the main thing. It's just when we. For the Crooked Caverns and then for the Underdoom core set, since those are some pieces that have not been in those paint schemes before, we have to go through the process of getting them the paint mm -hmm. and all that. Um, so I still, so this is what we've got left. So I've got one little pile of rubble. Swamp is pretty integral to the narrative. Yeah. yeah. All I'm thinking is like looking at this, like Although people could also I guess buy separately. it's why I'd love the 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 mat because I feel like the mat is the perfect. I thing. feel like having the having the magnets isn't like that big of a deal for this one. It so like together nicely. Yeah. Actually. So being able to have like a lot the, of fiddly bits. So being able to have like the cheaper like mat coverage would be really nice. Fiddly shards. Fiddly shards. <laughs> I have a lot of swamp trays coming in Wildlands, so I don't know if I'll really need more. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing is, yeah, maybe we could offer it without the trays. It would be neat to deluxify. Well, let's. See. So we've got. So I don't know what to do. What if, what's the, what's the consensus on the bathtub? What do we do with this thing? We've got we've got these, and then I've got the spikes, which I. Um, We'll figure out what the heck to do with those. But I, oh, and I have two one by ones. I'm not worried about that. What do we do with this bathtub? Like, what do we uh, do? We do uh, we use this as a thing? Is it like? Is it cool? Is it weird? I could also it needs an archway to indicate the entrance to the former druidic circle slash grove. Um, I only say starter dungeon because I have those trays, but I agree it's important to the narrative for the entry buyers. Yeah, having the swamp trays. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks cool. And that's the main thing. A lot of people are saying, like, it'd be cool if we could remove the swamp, but it being a swamp is also important. Well, that's what's sort of driving all of this. Weird altar, bathtub altar. Oh, yeah, it is like a weird, creepy altar. I could put it in. Yeah. Okay, so then, okay. So then we have, we almost have it. We have a good reason to go to every... Yeah, I think if you remove the trays, I think the trays add to the build a lot. It really ties the room together. Yeah, I think I think it looks more worth the money with the higher price point and the trays than without the trays and the lower price point. Fact. I like this as a creepy altar, right? This sort of unnatural dirt thing. And then it gives us a reason to come over here. Um, oh, my goodness, over here. Without the trays, it will not sell the narrative. Yeah, and that's the that's part of the point, right? Is that we're selling a narrative, especially more, especially with this one, if we're homebrewing a god and everything for it. Uh, that's a good. Uh, I'm excited. Unless you wait and do this build in four months with the swamp mats. Uh, we can't. We can't. Well, we have to wait till they're in the store, and we have to have make sure we have extras, and we have to like we're done. Yeah, and we'll be in the middle of another Kickstarter. I don't think it's gonna happen. It's now or never. We're if here. We had, We're committed. If, if we had known this was going to be what if it was we, when we started. If we, had, if we knew the future when we started. Uh, 
Yeah. yeah. Then, we, then we would have waited to pull this idea until then. But we have this idea now. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. What's the reverse side of the trays? It's like cavernous water, right? Yep. Yeah. It looks like it's nice. It's, it's beautiful water. Yes. It's our cave water. So you'll have, yeah, you'll yeah, have you'll have water. two by one and a half feet of cave water yeah. as well. Which I guess theoretically you could flip this over and not make it a swamp if you wanted. Um, yeah, you can make it a, a freshwater uh, experience. Elevate the trays with stilts and put the dungeon underneath. Huh? If you want to make it sunken. Oh, that would be cool. You have to go down into the submerged. Uh, that would have been another crazy. Well, let's see. So this is a thing. So we have this. This is, this is one way to, to tackle it with the pieces we've got. Let's see what happens if we bring in a starter dungeon. So basically, we've got a. How many trays is this? This is two one by one and three six by six. Uh, or? it's two, two twelve bys, two four by eights, and one six by six. Cool. Oh. Uh, maybe blue side could be after they dispel the magic of the god. I think the problem with flipping it mid-game is that Too you gotta move all the night. stuff off and then yeah. put it back on, is the problem. Yep. Could always revisit the temple in the future for Entragus Returns, the Antoning. The Antoning? Well, if we add this to the lore and we go with like the consistent storylines, mm. that could be a thing we do. I saw the quickening in, the th in theaters. Uh. Unless, <laughs> so we could just wait and redo this when you get the swamp mats in and then just hurry and come up with something else in the next 40 minutes. Uh. No. But well, we can return to the swamp. Yeah. Um. Can you use the 6x6 six six forest slash mountain transition terrain tray pack? It's cheaper with stone. I think we want this to be a swamp is the, the problem. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Um, and it wouldn't give us enough. That would, that they're all, it would only give us a 12x12 12 12 to work with. Or you launch all the Dwarven into the air, flip the tray super quick like, and wait for the terrain to land on the blue I side. I like this plan. I'm going to take mm. a picture of this. The Crystal Caverns build has some Underdoom banks, but you need to go full Underdoom or play your Anniversary Mirror build. Oh, that was the middle of a conversation. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Let's see it from out here. It's hard, I'm building backwards. Yeah, this looks like a thing. Here's some. Um, all right, so we've got this front area which has one of our seeds. It's got a poison bloom conveniently close. We've got a hidden rebel section. We could do something there if we want. Then there's, you can sort of hop over. There's like a one jumpy stone to get to this area, or you can kind of traverse. There's, there's I can see my head. There's rubble, log, more rubble, jumpy stone. You can get over to there or to here, or go from there to here. So there's like fun platforming bits, or you could also just wade through the water like a, like a barbarian. Um, <laughs> over here, we've got the hidden plug gag, where they can, maybe that's where the ants originate. There's another set of these eggs. Um, it's kind of tough wall spot here, so you could, theoretically, you could jump on the poison bloom and get across, but of course, then you've got poison. Got lots of rough terrain over here. We've got this little, little zone over here. This guy, yeah, I can get some light on. Uh, this zone has got another set of eggs. You can kind of get it, get there from over here or from there. So there's a couple of different ways to jump there. Bump, 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 bump. Um, and then this section has got the uh, got the the fungus, fungal webs like boom, bump, and come back here with the crazy, creepy altar thing in the back. Um, oh, you know what I can do? Maybe I'm going to put crazy creepy away. I can do this. Uh, put you over here. Not going to so. lie, the fact that you're considering adding the god I came up with as a canon Dwarven Forge <laughs> deity makes me pretty hype. Also, don't worry, I just googled Entragus and nothing came up. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Dodge that bullet. Turns out it's like some kind of Warhammer thing. Yeah. We get Games Workshop after us. Whole, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> their new, we secretly made their new uh, I don't their know what release. the money's at, but maybe a Dread Hollow dressing to add more Swamp Scatter. Mm. That put us a that, that put us a tiny bit over three hundred. I think it'd be like three ten. How, how much, much is dread hollow dressing? Dress? I don't think it's much. I, I don't think it's over like. I think it's like that would be nine. awesome. The, the the stump, um, a couple of trees. That dread would be really nice. Dread hollow dressing, uh, dread hollow dressing painted. 
Oh, never mind. It's ninety eight dollars. <laughs> so that would put us at. But that would be that would that, look that really put us cool. a little under four hundred. Maybe that's the deluxe. Mm. Or we don't do a deluxe. It's gonna they're gonna kill me. Yeah. But okay. So this is this is one thing we could do. And let me try. Let me try and throw starter dungeon into this and see what it turns into. Let me just yeah, make sure. Starter dungeon puts us a little over three hundred, but not by a terrible amount. Boom. We were at what? We were like two ninety eight or two eighty something. We were at two eighty something. Boom. 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 All right. So I gotta keep the bathtub. Oh, we get treasure too in the starter dungeon. What do you got about that? And a door, a creepy old door. Although we could pull the door out. We're at 289, according to Neofoya. 289, and then so a starter dungeon. Would this be possible and unpainted to test that option? Uh, we would I'm, need to check. I think we need everything to have them check exists and in unpainted that we have in here. I think we can do it. I could ask him for yeah. the stock numbers if we want. I'm pretty sure all the stuff is un we have in unpainted also, because when I we pulled the numbers, nothing was nothing was too low. As I recall, which is part of the reason I got these sets is because we could do it. All right, so let's let's flesh out this. Let's start it back. I'm going to start in the back. Um, of course. We'll do what, this. What sets we're using back. so far? Do you want me to have Eric check on the? We stock? have currently we've got one Burroughs accessory pack, one Deadly Plants pack, one Dungeon Ledges pack, one Dungeon Ruins pack, and the Terrain trays, which we don't, don't matter. The only other thing that might be interesting to get in here, we don't need it, but like the like angled we, ledges would have been the other thing that would kind of flesh out your whole bit, but. Yeah, let's see if we got decent stock on all those. Because um, we have 46 of the uh, Burroughs accessories unpainted, which is That's great. enough. Yep. Yeah. Or is it? This thing's gonna. Only 58 unpainted for Dread Hollow Dressing. Yeah, but we gotta take the paint into account too, because that's most likely what we're gonna sell the most of. Well, yeah, painted are is the driver. Um, so would this be possible? Uh, would love ruins or a bridge or a dock? Even what if we don't it? add the starter dungeon, it'd be nice to see what you could do adding it in, since many of us have the pieces yeah. of a starter. That could be like a cool additional video. Is like the, here's how you can oh, here's, here's how you, here's how you can work it into other basic yeah. sets. Yeah, that could be the tips because uh, the, the ruins are designed to be used with your regular dungeon pieces. Yeah, there's not a ton of building tips for this, really, but we could yeah. do like a compatibility video, basically. And we could do the, the build tips really is like, how do you play with ruins with something else? So, so yeah, so the tips are mixing this in with stuff as opposed to, yeah, that'd be interesting. Totally agree, seeing the starter dungeon for compatibility purposes is great. It's also potentially a way to upsell as well. We say like, we're not doing a deluxe pack, but if you want if to grab these other things from the store. Can, yep. Um, it's, it's a fun starter dungeon, uh, having enough to build like a, uh, because right now I'd estimate the gift card on this would be around thirty dollars. Yeah. Um, so maybe we look at like or 30. here's sets you could get with that thirty dollar gift card. That would be a cool complement to this. Yeah. Um, angled ledges are inexpensive. Angled, angled ledges are inexpensive. I don't know why that sentence is. Forty two. Forty two. So that would put tight. us around three twenty three thirty. Yeah, I'd rather pull, not do either of them, and just keep us under, keep us under three hundred. This is a, yeah, this is a good build by itself, especially coming in, coming after that uh, the mega castle of nonsense. Easy enough to make the starter dungeon into the ruined building of the temple. Yes, and have the links to the ones you show in the compatibility options would be a great upsell for the content. Wait, what do we what? It, so if we do like compatibility stuff, having a link in it, like here's some suggested like yep. additional and sets. and here's a link to the set. Yeah. That, that would be a bit easier on Joanna yep. and stuff as opposed to a deluxe set. Yep. Um, and we can have more of them. Yep. And if we this. get to it early enough, it doesn't make it too overwhelming. Yeah. No, I think it's a good, uh, kind of like it all across the boards. Oh yeah, so this is a fun, so I could, with, the, with the starter dungeon, I can then build out this, uh, I can build out this back room, make this like an actual dungeon room. Oh, wow. Oh, what happened how that, there? How, Yeah, what happened there? Where is the... Uh... That, everything was fine on this for so long. All right, let me, I'll mess with that in studio mode and see if I can, oh, or we can go back to it. No, it's gone. Weird. What okay, happened? All right, it's back. I don't know what threw it off. Nope. Wow, what is it? What is it pulling from? 
how is it fine until now? Maybe we just stick to the sniper from now on. Yeah. Okay. It's like as long as they keep white in the. Uh... That's so weird, because like it's centered on the. It was fine before this. Nothing's changed. All right. Well, we'll just avoid going to that camera for now. The entropy is. Sending we don't. We don't have terri We don't have terribly the, long left. So. The darkness has taken it. Uh. So what's fun here is like we can do a we can do a kind of a neat dungeon room that then you can kind of climb around or go through the webs or try to climb over like it, the the starter dungeon definitely gives like having some plain pieces the thing but I think I like the I really like the idea of just doing a hey this is this is an alt here's a, here's an example of an alt build if using yeah we can just starter grab dungeon like, pieces we can just grab like a couple different sets it wouldn't take terribly long to uh, to adjust for them in the, we can in just the have show. rabbit do it for us <laughs> do the alt builds. Because he's, he's already doing it. All right, get the numbers in. Oh, Deadly Plants, we only have one unpainted. What? That would be the limiting factor. Uh, Can we make it unpainted except for Deadly Plants? Oh, but those are 77. Mm, the, wait, they're, uh, Deadly Plants are 55, I have. Oh, you mean the, the quantity that we've got? Yeah, the quantity. I th you know, I bet why there are probably so many unpainted is because they're fun. It's they're fun, fun things to paint yourself? Yeah. Man, it would suck if that's the thing limiting it. Maybe we could offer just the plants painted in the bundle if everything else is good. Mm, that seems like a weird, particularly because that's the fun thing to paint, right? Like, Deadly I would much rather paint the plants than the damn walls. Deadly plants are such a huge part of the cost of this. They're 55 bucks, they're a, whatever that like is, one eight, one six. It just seems like such an unfortunate thing to be the hang yeah. up. No, it's really... Uh... Dungeon Ledges, we have 64 unpainted. Dungeon Ruins, we have 52 unpainted. Every other set we have a lot of, except for unpainted Deadly Plants. Hmm. Well, we might have a few in the reserve that we could dig out. I don't know. Man, if, we can even get it, if we can even get it to 10, that would probably be fine. Yeah. Like, 10 unpainted will probably be... Or we, we don't do the unpainted. Instead, we have a... Um, we do a... We just do a deluxe and a non-deluxe or something. The plants just feel so integral I to know. the build. Well, they, and they also, the, the cool pops of color and the thing, it make it feel swampy. Yeah. We'll have, to, we'll have to talk about it. If we can, yeah, if we can even free up, because hmm. we usually sell way more painted than unpainted, so if we can just free up something. Yeah, but it's like, we, I mean, we might have five or 10 in the reserve, but not a lot, like it's not gonna be a, it's not gonna be a significant. Huge plants deal. are sweet though. I had to go back for seconds after Plague Stone. The plants are awesome. Yeah, they're really, really good. It's, it's, it was like the big, I think it's some of the best stuff. Dude, what was nice about Plague Stone is since it was, since all the bread and butter was stuff we had already made, like the sculptors and painters yeah, got to just, just like go. Yeah, fun victory they, lap. Yeah, they like, got to just go yeah. wild with like little plants and like accessories and other small pieces. How much is the pack with the eggs? That's the one we're currently talking about. 48 bucks. Oh. The eggs are from the, the, the um, that's the Burroughs accessory. Yeah. Yeah, that's 48 bucks. How much are the deadly plants? Deadly plants are 55, according to uh, Tyler's notes. I can't believe we have one of them. That's so, this is, this is build of the month in a, in a, in a nutshell, like that, like yeah. being like, you know, you, the thing that's cutting you off is our, this one. Our store situation is just as frustrating for us as it is for you, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Um, how about you include a painted plant set with the unpainted option? That might be the only way to have major stock. Yeah, it's weird, but it, maybe it's the way. If it's the only way we can do it. Not the first time we've done something weird, so. Yeah, if it's the only way we can do it, then it's what we have to do, you know? If we want to have an unpainted option. Because we have 77 of them, so we still have enough. We have, a, we have a ton of the painted, so we would still have enough stock to do both the painted and unpainted if we were using the painted sets. Because we've got, I think our limiting factor right now is we have one of the pieces in its 40s. Uh, I think the dungeon runes, we have like 42 or something. Uh, Gilded Poison, who's one of the unpainted people for, for all these, mm -hmm. said they would still be fine with that. That's, it's good to have a uh, it's good to have a focus group here. Yeah. That'd be a good incentive to buy unpainted. The, um, the painted plant. Potentially, 
Well, it's just, if that's the thing stopping us from having unpainted. Yeah, it's really... I guess the nice thing is the burrow accessories pack. So if we were having the ledges or something be the painted option and the unpainted stuff, it would suck because you've got to paint that to match the rest of the terrain. But the burrow accessories, that's okay to custom paint because it doesn't have to match with a bunch of the other stuff. So that's actually yeah. one of the better things yeah. to have split. What was the alternative for unpainted? The alternative for unpainted... To not do it. <laughs> it's either to not do it or, or see if we, we have, have enough in the, reserves. Or we have to kill the plants from... The, it just it just uh, feels like the baroque it just feels like the plants are so integral. The plants are awesome. Don't don't I I'm I'm here for the plants. They they it feels like if you take them out of the standard build, it kind of loses a lot of its flair. Mhm. Mm no, I'm I'm I do not want to lose the plants. How much is the pack have. with the eggs? The pack with the eggs wasn't 40 48. Yeah, it was 48. Two end camps, isn't... dirt floor, web web floor spikes, the wall with the hole. Yeah, that was a that was a great who was that again? Uh, that suggested the burrow yeah. accessories? That was Paul. That's a great one. Paul Hestetler. That uh, was exactly what we, that was like, it was an extra little zhuzh that like. I would only buy this unpainted and the plants painted, so this would be perfect. Huh. Uh, maybe yeah. unpainted gets Dread Hollow dressing instead. I think we can't change Too it around. To... I mean, we'd, ha we'd have to adapt the... Because uh, also the price that spikes the... Pr I don't know. Yeah. It also changes the narrative. Like, the plants are so integral to the yeah, story. Yeah, the, the plants are now heroes. I mean, not heroes, you know, villainous heroes. But, uh, uh, or include some primer so people can paint over the unpainted plants. That's hilarious. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> that's, like, that's amazing. Maybe to help make up for the cost of the Deadly Plants pack, we include the paints you would need for painting the unpainted dungeons and stuff. But what if people already have their paints or they want to use their own? That's like, fair. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to saddle them with a thing that they didn't need necessarily. That's, that's totally fair. Uh, Seems like half of the Burroughs pack isn't getting used. Don't those eggs and web come in one of the Dungeon or Doom packs? Mm, a trove? The only stuff that's not getting used are the three spikes and the, um, the stone pillar. Which could just be fun things to yeah. have as extras. I think extras. The, one of the troves has a bunch of this stuff in it, but it's also... We don't know what the stock situation is on those either. And it's expensive. Yeah. But there is, that is, an, there, there is an alternative, right? Yeah, there like right now other. we're like just under 300, which is really nice. It's kind of where we want to exist. Um, Wicked Dungeon this Trove has eggs and webs. Let me look up the price on that real quick. It's a hundred and something. And I don't know what our stock situation is. But that is a good, that's a cool one. I haven't seen it on restock list, which either means we have a ton of it or we have like none, none. of it. Yeah. Oh, it's sold out currently. Uh, so there you go. It. But that would be, that trove would be a great, like that thing is awesome. That's got every... Uh, wow, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. That's a yeah. lot of cool bits. Well, you know what that, you know what I designed those, the troves were... They were all the flashy bits, and that one in particular was if you already had like three or five or ten sets of KS1 dungeons, that was the, hey, you want everything? Like, here's all the new stuff in one cool setup. Yeah. I would like a set called one of each paint. Have a button for that? Mm -hmm. We have several buttons for that. Uh, one button on, each, on, the, on the page for each paint that we have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. <laughs> you just have to click a bunch of them. Uh, a one of each paint. Yeah, like the, a bundle. It'd be cool to make a Wildlands paint bundle in the store or something for when that comes out. Yeah. Because we've it's got a lot of people. Crazy. Okay, uh, Jay just updated. Apparently we sold seven of the castle so far. Yeah. That's amazing. So that's more than I thought we would sell. Yeah. So, so we, we got a couple off of the emails then. And that's just first day sales. I mean, that's first that's four amazing. hours sales. <laughs> Well, it's you know what it's a lot like a Kickstarter. It's all the sa all the sales happen in the in the first day and in the last day. Yeah, the people who are hemming and hawing about it will get the FOMO when it gets close to yeah. Close to either, you either you're either an early adopter, you're like I'm in immediately without even seeing what the thing is, or you're uh, you wait until the you know the end and then you're sort of debating the whole time. Will there be a giveaway today? No giveaway today. We're gonna do those tomorrow, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. <laughs> I don't know. It won't, might, won't be 8 o'clock sharp, <laughs> but it might be 8 o'clock-ish. Uh, man, it's amazing. The, the Throwing one starter dungeon in, the amount of extra coverage 
it gives. The whole the, thing the looks a lot cooler. Like it makes it, it, it definitely makes it feel more full. Well, it feels like a real, like an old, like you can make it feel like a temple, right? There's, or like feel like a, you know, like there was an old, it was like, it was an old building or whatever. Like there's a way to. Uh, so if we do a deluxe option, the starter dungeon would probably be the smartest thing to do. Yeah. Because also it's not a ton of pieces. Like if you already have. It definitely makes the, t it makes the table feel a lot more full. And a starter dungeon is not that expensive. These are facts. It would add what, like another five dollars onto the gift card? Yeah. Yeah. More or less. Deluxe works. Um, and I mean, we don't have to worry about the stock for it either. Like we always have starter yeah. dungeons. That is one of the ones we do not. That's like a. That's like an easy one. We get that's a freebie. So what's the price on that? Forty nine dollars painted is not a bad addition. That still keeps us under three fifty for the deluxe. Um. Man, and unpainted, it's gonna give us even more. Yeah, unpainted, 35. We should add up the, we should add up the unpainted prices for all this as well. Yes, for next, uh, next month, that is a good, that's a good Tyler uh, if anybody, bonus quest. If anybody can do that, that'd be great. Um, who doesn't want a trove? Yeah. Yeah, no, the tro it's just unsold out. <laughs> because everybody wanted a trove. <laughs> if the unpainted comes with painted plants, I wouldn't complain. It, so far, it seems like people, if having the painted plants is what they need to have an unpainted option, they're fine with it. It's better than not having it. Yeah. Um, we would just need to make sure the language on the page makes it very clear, really clear that the plants are going to be painted already. Yep. I, Jay is probably going to really not be into it because it's confusing and... Hard, you know, like it's, it's, uh, it's not a standard, uh, standard practice. It's not standard, but I think if we're very clear about the messaging, it should be okay. Yeah, no, it's that I, or I we don't. We'd it's that or do we it, don't yeah. offer it at all. You know. Yeah. Um, Although, would it, did people say if they had the choice between del a deluxe version or a unpainted version, they would prefer? If you had to which, choose between yeah, one if they or the had other. to have, choose one or the other. Um. Although I feel I'll, like I'll run a poll real quick. Yeah. It's it's a lot cooler with just one starter dungeon. It really feels like the starter dungeon. Well, you can you can just suddenly like and that's the whole point. The ruins are meant to be built with some solid pieces so that you could uh, you could do this sort of thing. They right? have have uh, have like intact sections and broken sections and. Um. Okay. I've started the poll. Uh, so, part of me is wondering if we just bite the bullet and put the price at three forty something and just include the starter dungeon as the basic. Maybe. Um, and then do a painted and unpainted that way. Yeah, because it's not because the starter dungeon is super easy for us to add, and it I feel like it makes I feel like this looks like a better deal at three fifty. Than yep. 300 looks without the walls. I think well, I think just, just having just the cooler, we can actually make a cooler build. Like having those extra walls, because cool, that's the thing that we ran into when we were photographing Wildlands, right? Is when we were doing like those scatter builds that didn't have walls around the edges. It looked like there, it looked like so much empty space. But then just having like having the mountains, having the escarpments around the edges, like suddenly made it seem a lot more full for some reason. Yep. Um, that's weird. Your turns out your eye plays tricks on you. Yours just specific. Yeah. yeah. Me. <laughs> Just I'm here. telling you though, that stone starter set for a ruined building amongst the ruins would look really good too. There's a lot of stuff that would look cool. Maybe we do that as an addition. Like if we do suggestions for like builds you could add to the set. Ooh, a stone building? Yeah. Just like, yeah. Uh, stone starter set for a ruined building. Um, to be fair, there isn't really a standard for unpainted build of the month yet. That is fair. That, right, we've done one. We've done one. And it's like, and do it we, was we anything either... but standard. I guess that's the thing is like, do we want do we want the standard to be that we always do whatever we can for an unpainted option? I would like to. I feel like it's supporting you know, supporting the hobbyists in the community would be nice. Well, and just yeah, like it's it's just nice to be able to give people the option. Um, can we do unpainted with the plants though? Well, that's that's the thing is we have big... one we have one unpainted plant pack in the store. So watch somebody buys it right. Somebody's gonna now. Buy, somebody's <laughs> gonna buy it right here. now. It's the quicksand all over again. It's the <laughs> Um, 
The other people are saying that they would like us to do whatever we can for Unpainted. We do have a lot yeah. of, because yeah, we've got Andrew Kell here. Andrew does a lot of Unpainted. Wow. If they had to choose between a Deluxe and an Unpainted. Unpainted wins in a landslide. Deluxe won at 56% and Unpainted at 44%. So it literally wow. was like basically so an even neck split. And neck. How big was our sample size? Uh, 18. So it's not a huge sample size. Yeah. So out of, out of 20 people, it's basically roughly a half and half or whatever. Add a camp pack for a campfire. That'd be a cool thing to include in like the additional sets you could buy because it's also not that expensive, right? Except I don't want Civilization. Yeah, it's a good cheap pack. It's a good one to put in something. I want this to be like, we are just out. You, there's nobody to hear you scream, right? That's the, yeah. right? We want to be so far deep out in certain death that it's, uh, it's not going to end well for you. I'm going to start one more poll and see how people feel. What are they, what's this poll? Um, I'm going to ask if the, uh, uh, with Starter Dungeon at 350 feels like a better deal than without it for 300. Wait, starter dungeon, 300, without the starter dungeon. Hmm. See how people generally feel about that. Um, because yeah, maybe we, maybe instead of making that the deluxe, maybe we do just raise the price a little bit and include this as the basic. Well, it's not, yeah, I, oof, I'm a, I don't know. We got it's such a tough. It, it really does make the build look a lot better. Yeah. It also provides more solid ground for them to be fighting on, because there's a lot of terrain tray coverage here. And so we still got a good amount of swamp here uh, for dangerous terrain, while still also having like a good solid area for them to start in or something. Um, let's see. <laughs> Rabbit has not gotten the build of the month yet. I'm curious if Rabbit even needs it. He has, he has enough stuff to make it himself at this point. Yeah. Vote is basically split, so probably do both. We might. Um, there's you know, a lot me. of discussion that still needs to happen. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of it is, you know, at the end of the day, Jay figures out what makes sense in the story. <laughs> Merck says, my biggest issue with this build of the month is that I won't be able to keep up my joke boycott of Dungeon of Doom until vaulted diagonals are back. Hmm. And we didn't reorder them in the last reorder, did we? I, no. Jay says they yeah. don't sell well, but it, I, I'm seeing so many people ask for them that I'm wondering if it's a it's, thing where maybe it wasn't appreciated before. Yeah, but uh, we got. We're, here's here. I don't know if it's if it's helpful. We're uh, we're gonna try and we're gonna bring back the regular classic dungeon diagonals, um, but remaster them, to fix the size because they're they're ill sized. I think it might be one of those sets that people don't realize is a good addition by itself. Yep. Well, because it does it does so many things, right? You, you can do you can make the corners of your room. Cool diagonal makes it look all interesting. You can do diagonal, long diagonal passages. You can like use them to make an offset small diag. Like if you do three of them, it makes an offset square, like a, a diagonal square. You can do like there's there's just there's a lot of really interesting. They they they. It's very interesting geometry. It doesn't look like a sexy piece. Like you look at it, you're like oh I don't know, think, but it's yeah, like I think it's a thing. I think it opens you, up a lot. I think when you look at it by itself in the store, especially if you are fairly new to Dwarven Forge, you look at it and you're like. I feel yeah. like I'd rather just get another starter dungeon, right? I want to get deadly plants. I wanna, yeah. But I feel like if we did better messaging around how much it opens up your builds, yep. um, that'd be a really good set. Because Matt Mercer uses them constantly because they're extremely useful for like varying your shapes. They're just they're they're um, just a good they're yeah. just a good backbone. Uh, it looks like three fifty with the starter dungeon won seventy percent of the vote. Three hundred without it had thirty percent. Sixteen versus seven, so a little over double. How, how is there your sample size? 23. So more people more weighed people. in than on the yeah. deluxe and painted debate. Or unpainted. I tell you, it looks, it just, like, there's, I, I, we could rebuild it in a thousand different ways. Like, it gives you so much more, you know, there's a lot more interesting. Vertex Artist brings up, like, the, the good thing, which is that this gives you, like, the trick of the eye that, like, this looks like a much more fleshed out build having the, having the walls. Well, oh, it feels like an actual old ruined thing, right? There's enough integrity. Like, you can do some, some runs that are like, here's, here's a bunch of straight walls. Here's a, some wall with a corner. Here's, like, you know, there's enough that it has some integrity. Yeah, Dragos is saying that you just don't know you need the diagonal walls until you need them. And yes. then you're like, oh, I really yep. need those. It's exactly, uh, yeah. Andrew says he really loves his diagonals all the time. Every, every build, he uses his diagonals. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, they're 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 not happening right now, but they will they will exist at some point. I think the main problem of always having bread and butter and terrain trays and build of the month is they start looking less appealing. As you start to have lots of the components from it, but maybe I'm not the right target audience. Yeah. Well, that, that's the thing, right? Is like we try to think about. So with this one in particular, we're trying to make this a good starting point for somebody who doesn't have any Dwarven Forge or only has a little bit. Like, oh. especially if we're including like these this this like story and everything, we're hoping to hook people who want to level up their storytelling in their games, basically. Um, and so this right here is a pretty cool starter pack, I think. If this is your this is first a cool session, like this yeah, if this thing. is your first set of Dwarven Forge, especially if a starter dungeon is included in it, like then you're talking about you've got a lot of stuff you can do with this set outside of this, but it's also got Treasure. bling to make like a very specific session. Yeah. You flip it over and do the water, do like yeah. a little river running through a thing. Diagonals work well as an add-on. When you get started, you need the basics. Yep. Yeah, like they're definitely like a secondary step. It's they're... a thing you don't realize, and then you probably start looking at the flashier things. You forget you need them. Like they're they're such a good like diagonals are such a good basic thing. Like yeah. plus, if you look at any of the you know the old school maps on graph paper, you're always doing those diagonal corridors and diagonal like octagonal rooms, and I don't know. They're really a good. Mad Mage has them all over the place, diagonal. I do like that OBS awesome. has not had a single problem running the rest of the stream. But yeah. just for some reason back then it was... You gave it a... Mind. You read it the Riot Act? Yeah. Uh, uh, I think we have a... Uh, I forgot to vote, but add me for the 350. Okay. Uh, Vertex is saying he forgot to vote in the poll, but add him to the 350 crowd. Oh, cool. We'll have to, we'll have to think about it. So um, this is every... So the only things we have left are these... We have the, the three spike traps... The stone. Which are just kind of nice things to filler. have in your collection, right? Yeah, I love these things. Um, and then I have, I, I knocked the door out of the, where did I even put the door frame? That's a good question. Anybody see the door frame? <laughs> Wait, where, seriously, where did I put the door did frame? Did you drop the treasure somewhere in there? Yeah. Or? Oh, uh, oh, I put, the, I don't know, this may be bad, may be good. Maybe, I don't know what maybe it is. it's I, under the altar, like that's the ties that were collected for it's the. the it, it is, it's around the altar, right? It's, nice. I put the bathtub in the things and it makes it look like just some sort of weird, creepy. Right, I don't know. It's not right. <laughs> it makes it look deliberate, right? Like there's something, this has been, like something is, this is, this is bad. Like they did this on purpose. Uh, and the door, I don't know, I figured it would be rotted away at this point. There'd just be stone left. And the treasure is hidden in this little back room too. So it's like, it's very true. We need to consider entry buy-in perspective. Well, I don't need the starter dungeon in the build. It makes the whole thing more reasonable for a new doofer. Yeah, yeah. like that's all, the sort of purpose of these is to say, hey, Welcome into, come into the world of terrain. Like here's, here's, a, here's how you can get started. Here's yeah. a thing, here's a thing you can do. There's a story, there's a god, there's Vorpal, dragon, blood ants. Like what else do you need? Oh yeah, we have the, we have the ants that get going here yeah. too. And then Elrin the hero. Yeah, that's fair. We don't even have the ants on the build yet. I mean now it's a build. You got some yeah. ants. Get... Uh, Elrin the hero says, as someone that recently started buying parts, this build is more appealing to me than the castle is. Although the castle looks amazing too. Yeah. Yeah. This, well, is, the, this is a great way to start or expand your small collection. You'll get you'll get a lot more bang for your buck at it. Like you, this, you'll use a lot more. Than you can the you can run war cry on this. Level. That's true. This is, actually, this is a this is a really good war game battlefield. Ooh, for, 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 for a you skirmish could, war. Yeah, you could turn this. This would be a perfect war, frost grave. War cry, frost grave, yep. uh, relic blade. Like small skirmish yep. games. This is actually a really good build but for that. This we should, should fill we should, a two by two beautifully. We should turn hamster under this actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. If we can include war gaming in the messaging for this, that could be really yep. big. Yep. Um, and that, that's why that's why Selena said do a scatter thing, too. That was the, that was one of the the drives behind it. I love the idea. Yeah, because there's there's a lot of ways like these runes let you do a lot of line of but sight this, stuff. Back to like starting like if you wanted to grab this and then you also got a a classic classic uh, core or a Zaltar's game room or one other star dungeon you'd have like you'd be really uh, pretty well off. Or our new uh, vaulted vaulted mega. Core or classic mega core. Masakuma, uh, which, which is coming also, in six months. Ma Masakuma, I actually haven't seen you in chat before, so uh, welcome. Oh. Uh, they say I actually started collecting Dwarven Forge for Frostgrave, so I can attest to what they just said. Nice. So what we should we should include wargaming in the messaging for this one for sure. Yeah. And there's a there's treasure for you too for Frostgrave. Yeah, we've got, we have a couple objective markers. The yeah. the the eggs are good objective markers. The plants could be good objectives. We yeah. got the the spike traps yeah. are a good thing to drop in in war games. Mm. Yeah, there's um, fun uh, there's possibilities. Well, this is a thing, and we got a crazy story. We got like a get Hammy to use one of his painted war bands, bang on Instagram, yes. and Twitter. Yeah, let's add that. Like when we've got this built, let's add like a war game yes. photo shoot to it. Yes, um, all of these. Maybe we can partner. It. We'll see. 
Uh, very inexpensive to add to this once you have it. Yeah, especially with the gift card, right? If you're just oh, starting yeah. out, then you've got the gift card and you can use that, which is why I think we should do the here are good sets to add to it. Yep. Let's find things that are around the price of the gift card so that people well, who buy into us. 30 or 35 bucks. Yeah, pe people but you who, could say a starter dungeon. You add another starter dungeon yeah, or like, a classic remastered if, four if, set. If, like, if our goal with this is to yeah. bring new people in here, let's have sets of Dragon's Like You can use that gift card to get this set and this set, and this is what it'll look like if you add that to it. Even for war gamers, we can suggest uh, scatter sets they can get with that gift card. That would be good to add to their battlefields. Um, yeah, I want to run... This is a really fun... Yeah. This is a fun encounter. It is. We made something really cool here. And we can add we can add it to the world of Dwarven Forge lore. Uh, there's 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 a lot here actually. Like there's there's a there's there's a lot of good stuff that we can. Uh, we have a god. We have we have a god ants. We've got like, what else do you need? Like it's, <laughs> what more do you want? Oh, I love these fungal webs. We got everything. All right, let's um, let's walk through. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pop off the. I'm gonna we're gonna pop off the camera. We're gonna wander. Let's go do a little walk through. Cause it's almost four o'clock, right? Uh, it's 3.55, yeah. Yeah, all right, so. I'm feeling really good about this one so far. Mm -hmm. It feels like we don't have a ton of work to do afterwards. You want me to go to full sniper? Uh, yes, hold on, let me unlock. Okay. Let me get it off first and then. CBS Ratman. <laughs> that could be fun. Totally agree, a compatibility video with links to the alternates to add on to improve the yep. build. Oh, is Hamster here? Is yeah. he still here? Yeah. He left already? Oh, he left? Oh, no, he uh, should be here. Do you want me to call him in? Uh, let's walk through it first, and then he okay. can, we'll, we'll, we'll do a uh, reaction video. We'll Never go it. full sniper. <laughs> All right, so are we... Uh, I think he's in focus. Oh, yeah, yeah uh, we're, so, we're full, we're full so sniper. So we got a whole... Sorry, and I should probably move this whole thing a little bit closer to the edge, but whatever, we'll get... So we got a whole, whole kind of entry area here with our first set of eggs, and then there's like kind of a bunch of intriguing ways to go, right? So you could, could kind of hop off over here, you could go through the eggs and hop off over there. You could go bump, 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 try and do that, or work your way over the slippery log, or even go all the way over there. And of course, there's just trouble at every turn. So these eggs are going to do something. We get over here. We got there's a poison we're waiting for. It, more eggs. We got the uh, little the hole pop out. You got your blood ant ambush. Um, then it'll come out. We got then you come over here. With, very pixelated. Ah, oh, come on. Log bit over there. If you work, this is a nice area to do combat or something. Nice difficult terrain. Lots of difficult terrain, right? There's lots of between the water, which has definitely got leeches or crazy whatever. All you know, all sorts of nastiness and difficult terrain in there. Plus, like spots for difficult terrain up here. Plus all this platforming, like plus web spinning, parasitic. Fire, acid breathing, vorpal blood ants. Is, you know. <laughs> anyway, we're getting right over here. You got some more. Get some more eggs over here. Or do we tuck them in this little nook? Like, they like maybe they like shade. Mm. And then, uh, then to get it to your main area, we got fungal webs, fungal webs, fungal webs. You could do a fun thing, right? So they maybe they could climb over the wall. They could try and burn through this, and then it just grows. They could try and get through this bit. They could come around here and come over that wall, or they could go like around and try and do a thing on the outside, and then there's a weird, the bathtub altar of no goodness uh, and treasure. That's like a fun, uh, it's a fun area to just romp around and just get into all sorts of trouble. Yeah, this is legitimately, you can, s yeah. like like this This is great for like an art, like this is this is a night of D&D &D right here. And if you spread this out on a full two by two, right, if you went on another six, you could, it could definitely feels like a fun frost gravy. Also, also with the plant pack, you could, like, yeah, you could justify this for Pathfinder as well, because we literally yeah. designed these plants for yeah. Pathfinder. Yeah. Um, do you want me to have Hamster come in and evaluate yeah, this for working? Yeah, let's get him. Cool. Uh... Full sniper. And Meta Elite, we are going to uh, we're going to track you down and get you to some voiceover. All right, so Hamster, we need a, a live reaction video. So with right. this, okay. So it would have to be a little larger. We have to do like a two foot let fight. Me, we have go to go around two by two, but. Let me set up this mic for him real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just because he's not long. Did you do your vocal warm ups? Are you ready? I did that. Okay. Come over on this side so there's a uh, microphone. Um, 
Frostgrave, yeah. Relic Blade. Yes. Right? Some Jumping sort of... across the swamp and... Yeah. And it could, doesn't have to be swamp, right? It's for your thing. It could or just anything. Be, you know, it could just be terrain. But like fundamentally, if we were, you know, we had, this is a one by roughly one and a half ish, right? A two by two. Yeah. Or even a three by three, you might be able to spread out. Like, this looks great. We got some treasure tokens in here. It could be some kind of objective. We got. <laughs> Look at this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we literally just got. Plenty of things to maneuver around. Yeah. This looks great. I love the log action. Line of sight. You can yeah. Use these yeah, as, the little as, uh, These could be objectives or whatever. I love the, the jumpy pads. And we have these we can use. You could use these as uh, something for, I don't know. Yeah, that's great. Shooting. Yeah, right in here. Yeah, Spice right. So cream. right now this is passable, but you throw. Spikes well, that's what the that's what the blood yeah. answer waiting. Yeah, there's right. also there, there's <laughs> no, also going to be there's, yeah, there's also going to be two two ants in this as well. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Blood ants. Awesome. Love it. The blood god. <laughs> yeah, this looks <laughs> great. God. I play on it. All right, now here's here's a question. You ready? <laughs> Live on camera. How much do you think this is painted, including the terrain trays? Oh, I'm I'll so bad at this. <laughs> One, two, three. It's How much is your painting worth? Four, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's five. It's uh, five, six sets. Because I have this one. Six uh, sets. Yeah. In, one of the five, five sets in a pack of terrain trays. The, the it's large five set. sets. Mm -hmm. There's a starter dungeon, dungeon ruins, mm -hmm. deadly plants. Uh, Burroughs accessories and le dungeon ledges, okay. plus a multi pack of cave water terrain trays. Is this three fifty? Wow, you should get a prize. He That's exactly on. Wait, really? <laughs> That's exactly on. It's it's like three forty. 347, 346, something like that. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> hey, all right. No pressure. They'll Live. Keep, they'll keep me. Keep. Yeah. No. <laughs> Woo. Awesome. You, sur you survive another month. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Wait till next month. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, I so, love these plants, too. Yeah, this is one of my yeah, favorites. It's weird to say it was like a chance for the sculptors to do some fun. Like, yeah. This is classic Nina, like a disturbing, right. gross, twisting, like pulling from reality and turning it like into a, the nightmare. <laughs> All right, Paul wants to know, uh, now what are the skews? The skews? Oh god. Yeah, that's, that's a Tyler that's question. Tyler, that's a Tyler, yeah. Tyler question, yeah. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler literally pulled these, so he's gonna know. He's got, he, he's, he probably says I'm in a sleep. He is fluent in skew. Like you can ask him a thing and he'll like, he can rattle off the skews. It's it's unreal. That's awesome. It's really, uh, uh, so here's the other question is, can we, after we do the shoe of the bill of the months next week, can you, can you do a uh, a war game build? Yeah, so put it on a two by two or whatever. Absolutely. Throw, throw some of your painted war bands on there. We'll get a yes. little Yes, painted armies. But it has to be a new army. That's the. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> Just well, I don't have a backlog or anything. To yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> well, have so we'll, have to order, we'll have to order some new stuff. Right. So you can right. have something to paint. Yes. Yeah. Please buy me more miniatures. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. I think that does it. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's sign off. Where is it? Four o'clock? Like, yeah. It's four o two. Woo! All right. Well, that's it. Building of the build of the month. You saw it here first. Uh, hamster approved. Yes. Uh, thank you guys for all the great ideas and uh, helping us put something awesome together. This is. I'm really excited. This is the most sort of cohesive we've walked away from a building of the build of the month. I think. It, it feels like almost all the work is done here, and all we got to do is shoot it. Yeah. Like. Yeah. And I guess now make a supplement for it because we're yeah. adding the <laughs> written content. And, well, well, you know, Rabbit can shoot it for us. He'll he'll build it, and shoot it, and then we'll uh, yeah, Meta Elite will write the supplement, and off we go. Awesome. So thank you everybody for all your great ideas. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow night with a fix it episode on uh, on the Anvil, and then Thursday night. What are you guys doing on Thursday night? Oh uh, well, I got a few projects uh, on the old hobby plate. So, oh, so you do have you have a pile of opportunity. You're, yes, you're holding that's back. the term yes. for it, right? right Learn that from right. you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got that from someone in the stream, actually. It's so yeah. good. Somebody was it commerce team? Somebody yeah. somebody said I prefer to think of it as a pile of opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Pile of opportunity is a great one. Um, awesome. Well, this thing will be live uh, first Tuesday of next month. Of yeah, May. Let me see when that is. We'll that'll figure be, out what the heck it is. We're trying to figure fourth. out how to do painted and unpainted. Plants are causing the problem, but we'll sort it out. Was there one other thing we were say? Oh, and and uh, Meta Elite, we uh, get your info to Chris so we can uh, we can track you down and get your uh, your voice. I've got their email, so I can pass it on to. Uh, it's gonna be yeah. intricate. 
the, the fallen god that is being reborn. Ah, yes. Yeah. yeah. Sending guys Legion of Ants. All right, well, thank you guys. Have a good day or night if you're, uh, if you're, you're not in, if you're in Europe. In yeah. the States. Yeah. Hope you had a good dinner if you're in, a, if you're in the UK. Is it a supper? Supper, short. I don't is know. there a difference between dinner and supper? Ask Rabbit. I'm sure there is. It's like <laughs> a whole thing, right? It's, yeah. Anyway, and then uh, good night. <laughs> or day Bye. later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. Sup well. <laughs> <laughs>